Uh, uh, good good afternoon. I don't remember which fucking scene I was supposed to be on. <laughs> uh, was it this one? It's been a little while. I don't know what's going yeah. on, man. Are Fuck. we streaming? Yeah, we're live. <laughs> yeah, he's got us live. I saw this the thing change. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> it looked like I, Coach and I were sharing a chair. Uh, <laughs> I've never felt so close to you, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like hidden somewhere you don't see me anywhere i'm in I, i'm in space you're at you're in creepville i literally yeah. had this set up lewd, last week lewd you're, you're lurking thinking about lewd thinking lewd thoughts yep exactly that's why i'm a removed for the posterity of the chat like i, I they just can't have it anywhere me anywhere near <laughs> oh there i am how many scene transitions are we gonna do i'm trying to find where the fuck i had last <laughs> week <laughs> was it on live I'm getting some vertigo from the all the, the <laughs> right. I'm, I'm, it says it says you're live. How many times uh, are we gonna go? No, through? no, no. I'm talking about my scenes. Like, warning: this stream may cause motion sickness. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Uh, we're at the table. Yeah, we're at, the table. we're at the table. It seems like a good spot. Yeah, I feel all right. Yeah, I got half a gal space next to me. I'm totally, I'm totally okay with this. I don't know if Bud's comfortable about this, but, but I'm totally all right. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I got a little bit of, you know, hairs raising up on the back of my neck, but I think I'll be okay. I'll soldier through it. Yep. Builds resilience. <laughs> uh, oh. This. This smells like there. the Shire. What's the, what does the Shire smell like? <laughs> Yeah, what does it smell like? Actually, I'm used What's to that? it, so I I'm, I got the what do you call it? The, the smell blindness. I don't I don't notice it anymore. What does it smell like? <laughs> Did they even mention it in the Lord of the Rings with the shine? That's why like? it's god damn it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm guessing you know probably pipe weed and yeah and good odor De and a whole lot of weed. Like there's a lot of plant. Oh, I don't know. They don't really wear them. shoes, so they probably don't get a lot of foot odor. Their their feet breathe, don't they? Hobbits. Yeah. Yeah, so they wouldn't have any. They don't have really have any footwear. So they probably don't have any stinky feet or anything. So, yeah. There we go. We're gonna say pipe weed and mead. <laughs> you, that's, you, that's all you need. That's what. That's all you need, <laughs> indeed. You know what? That's helps? my creed. <laughs> I actually had the fucking Discord open up. <laughs> that's how many people. I'm sorry. We know oh. what we're doing. We're professionals here. Yeah, we're totally professional podcasters here. We've totally this done this before, chat. Who says who cares hobbits and grass? That sounds right. <laughs> we've totally done this before, <laughs> chat. No worries. This isn't our first stream. We've we've done this, I, I swear. Maybe for you, shit. <laughs> we're highly uh, professional. Uh, <laughs> well, we're highly anyway. Yes. Quote well, I mean, I speak for me. Highly. <laughs> so... Coach was like, "Hey, don't, don't coach is there yeah, with me." <laughs> we we got we got Gal to my left. Yes, coach in the top left, but right above me. We're doing a podcast, supposedly. What the fuck is, is that up? What's happening? I mean, hey, hey. something is happening. I don't even know where I am half the time. Yeah, <laughs> that's the weed, buddy. That's the weed. Hey, still here. Hey. Hey, you don't need to have just weed to not know where you are. Half the time after work, I'm, I'm my brain is a sieve. I, I don't know what the hell's even happening you know. half the time. <laughs> How's everybody out there at home? Are you? I say like I'm not also sitting at home, but yeah. You know. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I can't complain. <laughs> All right, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> I'm t same to you, Boot. Hello there. Good, sir. All right, let's start with uh, let's start with Coach. What's been new? You've been off all week. Where the fuck you been? I just took today off, man. I was here uh, Monday, Tuesday. I didn't but, uh, today, man. I had a bunch of fucking driving to do. It's fucking pains of living in the middle of nowhere. It's like an hour drive to the fucking bank, hour drive to the fucking another town for this shit. Damn, dude. Where do you live? Uh, Western New York, the bunk okay. bunk in the middle of nowhere, New York. <laughs> oh, okay, so New York State, yeah, cool. Yeah, Buffalo. Uh, out that way, yeah. Okay. Do you get a lot oh, of buffalo wings? What was that? You get buffalo wings quite a bit. Oh, 
all the fucking time, man. <laughs> I know the next question. Can I ask it? Sure. <laughs> blue cheese or ranch? Oh, blue cheese, man. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck it, Paul, who's probably listening. And Bud, and Bud is in his element right now. He is just like <laughs> right back at you, Paul. Wherever I'm you grinning are. from ear to ear right now. <laughs> yeah. oh, there's nothing else to have with him. Nice hot That's right. Blue That's blue the way it goes, man. The extra chunky blue cheese. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's got to be good blue cheese, too. It can't be that shit oh, yeah, you yeah. buy off Not the grocery store shit. shelf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be the shit they make in-house or make your homemade stuff or whatever. But yeah. Oh, it's so good. All right, Gal. You got any questions for Coach? I mean, not too much about it. I guess is are the, what are the cool games that you're? I haven't seen your your streams in a little bit. What have you been playing this week? Uh, let's see. I did Tiny Toon Adventures yesterday. I finished that out. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit, what the hell did I play Monday? <laughs> 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 that I hope that doesn't portend that it was anything forgettable. Um, um, so I did a little bit of variety. I did let's see, Little Mermaid, Little Nemo, Ooh, uh, Little Nemo, Fifty Two, mm-hmm. just a bunch of random variety NES games. Oh, okay. I like those kind of streams where you're like you kind of play like a menagerie stuff. You get to really see a lot of games potentially that you might not know of. I, I like. I those love kind of NES games. games too. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely going through a lot of them. I had as a kid. Like, yeah, I just learned this week fucking B-52 was an unlicensed game I actually fucking owned. No idea where it came from, but I had it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Was that a Tengen or Tengen or whatever it is? Uh, Codemaster, Did, actually. Didn't they have a lot of unlicensed Codemaster? Okay. Very, very nice. Yeah. I've, I'm a big fan of those kind of streams because you really get a chance to see a lot of potential games that you might do. And the NES library has a lot of good ones. There's a lot of, of good games that you can run across with that kind of stream. All right. Now, uh, this new person above me, I don't know if anybody's ever heard of him. Good friend of mine for a few years. He just started uh, streaming recently, I guess, earlier this year. I Mr. thought I'd try it out. <laughs> M- Mr. Bud Cave. Yeah, it's, what, what is this? Which is that what they call it? How, does, how do you, is that? Am I pronouncing Kentucky that right? Kentucky is a state. Kentucky is a state. Frank, we 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 All we're totally fine. Cameraless. Thank you. Take your camera back. Shut the fuck up, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it. I like streaming. I uh, enjoy it quite a bit. And uh, thank you for asking. <laughs> and I know you. Uh, I know you just started with uh, Resident Evil. Oh God, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> He's gonna like go over to Ohio. I'm going to smoke. drive to Ohio right hey. now. I'm gonna smack you upside your head. Hey, you know what? At least weed's legal here now. <laughs> well, I that's mean, a second that reason is... to go. That should be the first yeah. for you. Shit. Yeah, he'll. Ki- yeah, it's the first reason. He'll kick your butt, and then he'll go get some weed. <laughs> that sounds like a. That literally, sounds like a... <laughs> literally right, right down the street from me is a dispensary. So you want to go to the dispensary first, then get it. Then you kick it. right, <laughs> right. Oh, I don't know. I mean, what's that, coach? I said they wasted no time at all getting that one going. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Legal, like what? Not even a month or two ago. Yeah, not too long ago. Oh, not too long. It's no. Very recent. Yeah, they go up quick, man. Oh. There's an there's an ancient relic. Ouch! Wow. 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 <laughs> no respect. No respect. I mean, of course. Tough what's crowd, up, retro? <laughs> Dust it for fossils. Wow. Dust it wow. for fossils. Wow. Love wow. crowd. I bet that brush feels nice, though. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to talk too much about this gal. I don't want to get a gal going. Yeah, yeah. please. I just got home, okay? <laughs> get me worked up over here. Tickles is fancy. <laughs> what doesn't? He's not wrong. <laughs> If we keep it up, Nick will show up too. Damn it! Oh please, no, no, please. There's uh, even They've that one getting rowdy too much for me. It's <laughs> early because of early. troubles, Nick. Far too early. Well, <laughs> if we talk about tickling gal while it's playing ABBA. Oh, the yes, I forgot about that whole dynamic. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> see, it's all. Coming I remember back. it all. See, I'm remembering. It's coming back to me. 
It hasn't been that long. <laughs> no. I mean, I just, it's... I just got home. <laughs> when was your last stream? Shit! <laughs> it's been a little while. Oh, yeah. Isn't the end of October? Like early November, something like yeah. that. Yeah. That's be like about a month. I, I can't remember. I've been working way too it much. Feels like about a month. I can go look at my page. I can tell you real quick. Show my VODs and all that. It's so stuff. hard to, like, t with working all the time, it's really difficult to have a time frame of, like, how long right. things have gone by. <laughs> The days all kind of blend together. Exactly. It just says last month. I love that. I don't want to. Oh, November seventh was my last stream. So oh, yeah, early, okay. early November. <laughs> I mean, so what? What have you been up to? Anything new? Anything? Well, um, excuse me. I just uh, took a big bull rip. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> I sh don't. Uh, no. <laughs> All right, I should take those on breaks. Um, <laughs> no, I've just been mostly uh, working, just trying to pay down some of these vet bills that we uh, accumulated. Uh, we've had some sick uh, cats, and uh, vet bills are crazy, dude. You'd be surprised how much it costs to take care of a sick pet. And, oh, dude. You know, so right now, I just have to you know, take priority on that and getting that obligation out from under me, under us, my wife and me. And uh, so I've been working hard towards that. Plus, we had... Um, we finally had the uh, flooring replaced downstairs. Um, I, before I stopped streaming, I told you guys, or you know, about the water damage we had down there. Yeah, yeah. And just it took forever to deal with our insurance company. I don't know why they drug their feet so long, but we finally got the darn thing fixed. Like last week, it was finally finished. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was talking about this, you know, in October, you know, when this happened. So uh, mm, hey, at least we've been dealing with done. that. And just, you know, right. working around the house and just, you know, puttering around the house doing, you know, whatever needs to be done around here. So it's been very boring. <laughs> yeah, but but very I mean, necessary. it hasn't really been boring to live. It's just been, you know, it just feels normal to live. But it, I mean, it's a boring story is what I should say. It's just not really done anything exciting, but, you know, just, you know, doing what I got to do kind of thing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Wake up, take a shit, go to work, come back. Yep. Fix off the donuts. You know, I've been just living a normal life, you know, doing what people do, you know, just got to exactly. get by. But uh, I've been missing streaming. I've been, um, I, I will be doing it again soon. It's probably going to be more on a, um, maybe a couple of days a week kind of thing. And, you know, just to start with, and, and, you know, while I uh, adjust to this new schedule and stuff, and I may work on some, you know, video content and things like that too. I've been, you know, thinking of this as a chance to work on stuff that I, have it really um, focused on because I've been focusing everything on the stream. So, you know, it kind of opens me up to do some new um, things too, which will be nice. And uh, so I've been working on getting that structured and planned. And uh, also I want to do streams, but I'll, I, they're going to be fewer, but I want to do them, you know, something a little bit more exciting with them. So it might be, you know, maybe you get a higher quality, less quantity when it comes to the streams moving forward. But, uh, you know, that's still, you know, it, it's going to depend on how all that unfolds. So, you know, and, uh, to be saying. I'm assuming just like me giving up on RA because, you know, short amount of time. Awesome. Oh yeah. I mean, RA is great and it's a lot of fun and there, I bet I, you know, it, to be honest, you know, the time commitment is one thing and there were other issues that, you know, I don't, you know, we don't have to get into really, yeah. but you know, we've all had our complaints, you know, over, you know, the last, you know, year or so. And, you know, it wasn't, like a bad breakup or anything like, oh, fuck, I fucking sucks our hate RA kind of thing. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, it just kind of got to the point where I wasn't getting as much out of it as I really wanted to. And it's my, my, um, focuses and have changed with gaming and streaming and all that. So it just doesn't really fit into the equation as well anymore, just because a lot of it has to do with the time commitment, yeah, but also revisions. <laughs> <laughs> Gal and his revisions. Yes. I, mean, I've only I blame like, Gal for all of the bad things. I mean, I, hey, you know, what can I, 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 I really disappointed people, you know? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, RA is great. You know, all in all, I still, I still like it. And I still appreciate everything, you know, that RA taught me and, and, and did for me and my channel, my content you know, over the time I was doing it as a focus. And that's not to say that I won't be, you know, doing some things with RA in the future. It's just not yeah. going to be a primary focus anymore. And it's fine. 
you can always have it on and just get what you do. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I just want my cake that. and eat it too. I just want to do it exactly. yeah, at all. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I just, I constantly tell people when people are like, you know, but if there's so much, inf- I mean, just play it as you will. You know, yeah. that's what I do. You have to badge I mean, every game and I mean, yeah, you don't I've have to climb that. the leaderboard. You could just use it even, I could see people using it as a tool just to, you know, pick and choose what oh this one sounds fun i'll do this one because you know yeah. this seems interesting or that's what i do you know particular achievements yeah and that's you know kind of yeah. a way we can look at thing. it <laughs> yeah yeah exactly you don't have there's no rule that says you have to do all of them or get bad just i think there's room for different breeds of ra players you know exactly i mean look at coach that's all he does just leaves it on goes for little challenges and that's yeah. it i think that's yeah. a cool way to do it mm-hmm and it just, it's honestly, it puts less pressure about all of it. And you get to enjoy it at your pace. You get to enjoy like what challenges speak to you and everything. If you want to go for the badge because you really like the game, hey, you go for it. But you go for it because yeah. you like the game. You like yeah. what it is and you're willing to put in that time. And then another game, you're like, you know what? Like, for instance, Mega Man X6. I could never see myself <laughs> badging that game. But you know what? Yeah. If I do some, if I play through it and I get some stuff, and heck, now on RA, yeah. you get some, you get, a notification not really a badge or anything but you get a notification that you've you've progressed through the game you've yeah. got that game or whatever so there's something you can so there's a leaderboard for that yeah. that you can actually do stuff or whatever so they're they're branching out into other ways to appreciate your games not just sure. you know badges i think badges still yeah. are the primary thing of course because it's an achievement based website yeah and it's not but, even a thing about shying away from doing a challenge like i would like to do some of the challenging things like the deathless runs and the uh yeah. um uh, uh damageless boss fights and things like that things that re- you know that i i think are i know they're they're um what's the word i'm looking for um common you know uh, achievements in, in games that you see a lot yeah. of but they're challenging and they seem to make sense as a challenge for most games and in some um, games as opposed to others. Yeah, exactly. In some games. Is, yeah. In some games as opposed to others, you know, and they're not they're, They They can be grindy if it's a particularly, particularly tough fight, but it's not, you know, like in an RPG where you have to go, you know, grind out every side quest or anything like that, you know, I guess the point, yeah, it tails. Yeah. I guess the point mainly being is you can find ways to really challenge yourself and really push yourself and doesn't necessarily have to result in going for every last achievement because exactly. some of them quite honestly can be tedious. Exactly. And I think, yeah. I think that way, I mean, I mean, I commend people who are able to go for all of them. I mean, for those that are like top of line, Hey, you know, yeah. I commend them and everything for it, but it doesn't, that doesn't have to be the only way to really, I think bring achievements on or really appreciate yeah. those kind of challenges, you know, like there are different things that we can do. And I think that's to the benefit of the site to really go in that direction. I think to be yeah. more of that, you can appreciate those different challenges and so forth in your own way without yeah. having to say like, because let's be honest. I mean, as much as some people really go for badging every single game, realistically, you know, again, all of us are going to have those games we like and those games we just are going to struggle against. Well, some people are just really good at that, and it fits yeah. in with their with what they do and what their scheme is. And more, and those guys are freaking fantastic. I mean, like Sar- Sarconius comes immediately to oh, mind. Oh, dude, yep. I mean, exactly. He, I mean, he can he can put himself through it, and he's just amazing at badging games. And he's got you know, look at his freaking wall just to prove it. Yeah. And, if and, anything, if anything, I probably become a better gamer by watching them, by yeah. seeing how they approach things, and like kind absolutely. of absolutely bringing that into my repertoire of how I do things. But even then I I still see like how far I can really go with that. And I just know, am I ever going to see myself being like a top 10 player on RA? Most likely (laughs) not. You know, I'm I'm probably not going to have the dedication to be able to do that, but you know what? Getting into the top a thousand, that wasn't so bad. (laughs) You know, like, you know, RA makes you bad. a better gamer. I'm reading chat. Someone yeah. stole my boot. Says RA makes yeah. you a better gamer. It really does. I mean, I I I mean, I'm not like a, a great gamer by any stretch. When you talk about guys like Sarconius or Frank or Throg and them, but I am a much better gamer today than I was when I very first started doing RA. It really yes. makes you push yourself in it, and you know, put yourself through the ringer, and you can't come out of that without improving significantly and i can play games way better now than i could at the beginning of that i mean yeah help for me last last year during the charity event 
uh, for I forget the cherry event that we did for around Halloween. That was the first time I ever beat Nightmare yeah. on Elm Street, and I owned it as a kid. Never beaten yeah, it. I remember that. This year, I first year I've ever beaten Ninja Turtles one, and I owned that as a kid. Never was able to do it unless uh, RA. Yep, so. exactly. Yeah, yeah. So RA's got RA is a cool thing, man. I love RA, and like I said, just you know, and the main reason I I can't be badging games anymore isn't because I just don't want to. Um, it's got a lot to do with you know the time I have to give to it these days. Exactly, is, is different than what it was. <clears throat> and there's and again, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, if anything, yeah. there's probably many people who rise the ranks that probably. The, the thing that they do is it's just that they just play a lot of games. Yeah. That, that's yeah. more of what they do as opposed to but it's like not just that everything. either for me. I mean, it's also, I mean, it's not only the time commitment. Um, that's, that's part of it, but you know, there's, there's other parts, you know, to it as well as, and I want to shift the focus. What I, with yeah. what I do, the channel more into exactly. the content and um, you know, and community and things like that. And I think RA, while it's a wonderful thing and it makes me a better gamer and it really pushes you and it's a great community, it kind of takes a lot of my focus and it makes it harder mm -hmm. for me to concentrate on some of the other things that I want to branch out to yeah. uh, creatively. Exactly. He wants to become. And then... that's just a personal choice of mine. Uh, not that you can't be creative and do RA. You know, uh, maybe but... somebody, some people do have that capacity. Throg jumps immediately to mind. Yes. Um, you know, but for me, I think I want to focus more in on that. And then RA is kind of there to, um, to supplement it. So thank you. Supplement it and, and be there as complimentary uh, to the content versus <laughs> being the only thing about yes. it. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's hey. And I'm excited to see that, bud. <laughs> Thanks. Like I'm, I want to see those, those kind of aspects because that's where all the fun comes, man. And mm -hmm. we, we, and that's why I got into streaming in the first place was to, to create content and make funny things and do sketches and, 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 and entertain. And the RA kind of came along as a, um, a tool to help me achieve that. And it's been a tremendous, wonderful tool and mm -hmm. it will continue to be one. But it's just, like I said, the focus has to change because um, especially because like when I got into those big games where it was so many, like especially <laughs> that Resident Evil 2 yes. um, Dreamcast set. <laughs> yeah. Dream oh, cool. God. So goddamn ridiculous. And I just got to a point where I just hit a wall with it. It's like, oh, my God, there was so much planning I'd put into that. And if I had been somebody that grew up playing RA from, you know, since it came out, then maybe it would have been different. But I got into the RA series a little bit later, so I didn't know the game as well. So, And it just got to a point where I just... Like I said, I'd done so many playthroughs and it was just killing me slowly. Yeah, it just stuff. melts. You just get melted. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. No, I was like, it was like, oh my God, I just can't fucking, I hit a wall, dude. I just, I can't do this no more. And everybody understood. I think, I think people watching were even more ready for me to move on from that than I was. I mean, in fact, a couple of people were like, thank God when I said, you know, I think tomorrow I'm going to play Batman. <laughs> That's like, hey, we got another game. Uh, I, yeah. I was yeah. one of the ones that DM'd you like, dude, just just give up on the RE. Just give yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. It's like don't you don't have to do this to yourself. Please just move on. We hate seeing you go through this. It's 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 okay to play another game, bud, please. Yeah, exactly. It's like <laughs> I, you know, it took me a while, but finally I was like, okay, fine. Because I kept saying, No, I'm gonna push through it, man. I said I was gonna do it. I made a commitment. I wanna do this. I'm mm. and then finally it's just I hit that wall and it's like I can't fucking I can't do it, man. Yeah, no. It, I'm when not you, cut when from the same that, cloth as some of these guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, Starting, that's okay. He yeah. he was turning crabby like Frank. Yeah, my sanity dra watching my sanity drain from me was bad. Boot. Yeah, I bet it was. I know it was. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, well, you know what? I'll just do RE3. It's a different game. And then RE3, I was like, and for like one stream, maybe two, it's like, okay, this is much better. And then I was like, tank <laughs> controls are still here. Yeah. <laughs> That's I, I'm exact. I'm exaggerating. Yeah. It. it was. It wasn't really that. We, bad. We're moving on from it. Resident Evil to Tomb Raider. Oh God. <laughs> But that's not why I'm on the hiatus. It didn't have anything to do right. with any of that. It really no, has no, to do no. with, you know, I, I'm I'm concentrating on what I have to do, you know, IRL. And then, uh, you know, because I think it's I think it's been affecting the stress of all of that has been affecting, you know, the content and the stream and my attitude. And it's made my attitude kind of suck lately. I started to notice, you know, mm -hmm. so I was like, you know, let me let me get this 
kind of stressful situation out of the way and then come back at it fresh and maybe you know once i get at least some momentum it doesn't have to be like oh i got to pay off all these bills before i can do anything it's got to be like let me get some momentum behind me let me get some inertia and then you know then we'll uh you know do some streams and and make it fun again and, and have a good time make streams fun again hmm yeah exactly get, getting back into the feeling and everything because yeah. you know sometimes you need to be away for a bit to to kind of regroup and mm-hmm. retool yeah yeah, reevaluate and whatnot. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, that's what's up with me. What's up with you? What's up with you, Solid? Uh, <laughs> we're turning. We're now turning on uh, him. <laughs> <laughs> we're this, now the podcasters. You're so, in the hot seat. Come on. Solid. I mean, <laughs> I've I've talked about this quite a bit. You know, it started working at Walmart. We had a kid yeah. set fire in the store. Holy shit! Really? Yep. Oh, Jeez. And two days later, after we reopened, there was a fight in the store. Because bitches be crazy. I mean, <laughs> fucking Walmart. Sounds yeah. like Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then two weeks later from that, there was an active shooter in the store. <laughs> Jesus. Big fighter, just a sh- an active shooter? Holy fuck, dude. Yep. I had Aren't just, I just got off just work. Got hired. Yeah. <laughs> I just got off work that day. Came home and I get started yeah. getting phone calls and everything. Like, oh my god, are you right? There's a shooting at your store. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> so you weren't um, there when it happened. No, yeah, I had right. just got off. Like, oh, good. dude. So, uh, he was actually messaging. Yeah, it was me. everything. Oh, yeah. Did anybody get hurt? There was four people shirt uh, shot. Three are already at home. One, they're still in the hospital, but they're doing better every day. Okay. Then the shooter killed himself. So you know, is he the only one that died? Yep. Only one that died. Oh, Racially God. motivated, of course. Oh, fuck. God damn. But, That's tragic, man. I'm glad yeah. nobody got killed. Right. Well, other than shooter. <laughs> well, yeah, well, he killed himself and fuck him. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, yeah. It's crazy boot, man. It's fuck it, this yeah. shit, man. Yeah. It's, like it's yeah. like we opened up like right that happened the Monday before Thanksgiving. We reopened on Black Friday. Mm. And just standing there, you know, not many people were coming in. It was a weird feeling. I mean you still get yeah. still get people coming in and like, hey, is everybody all right? You know, what's happened? And meanwhile I'm just sitting there looking like an idiot. I have no fucking clue. I'm just here to earn a paycheck. <laughs> I literally yeah, got, yeah. I got this job because, but you could, I mean, any streamer knows this. Once you make over $600 on stream, you have to start paying taxes for it. I hit that $600 mark and I was like, fuck, I got to pay taxes. No, I mean, but, I remember so, you were saying to me, you were saying to me, even, you know, you were like, I don't know if I'm going to stick like, stay on i'm gonna have to like leave like i remember right after that was happening mm-hmm. that was all hitting the waves like he was just, solid was just like i don't know if i'm gonna stay on for this <laughs> like uh-huh. honestly like it's really turning into something and i couldn't blame him <laughs> and was feeling because that was crazy and even like after that since it came close to the holiday season catching thieves like literally i had some dumb bitch literally with like zip up full zip up hoodies Ring him up at the self checkout, and we get these little phones that tell us what people are ringing up. They were coming up as one dollar thongs. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, "What the? Are you are you shitting me?" <laughs> so I walk up to her. I was like, "Excuse me, miss. Uh, there seems to be a problem here." Her eyes got big. Uh-huh. Like, uh. <laughs> so I, right, sc- I I scanned <laughs> the. I scanned the hoodie. I'm like, this doesn't look like a thong to me. And the, no. the thing that comes out of her mouth was, I'll go get the tags. I was like, no, you're going to come with me. <laughs> we have sheriffs. Yeah. We have sheriffs in there now. And you want to yeah, try yeah. to steal this shit. Come on. That's no, you're, crazy, you're coming dude. with me. You're, yeah. you're under arrest. <laughs> and the retail theft and shit's gone nuts. It's almost so almost $80 worth of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Then I had another woman. She she was hammered. 
I could smell the alcohol on her, bring up a bunch of stuff, but didn't bring up over a hundred dollars worth of toys and try to walk out. And it's just like, you need to come here. <laughs> People are bold, man. I, yeah. And then I had somebody accuse me of being racist. I'm just like, look, it has nothing to do with that. I catch more old white ladies trying to steal shit. You just have you just thieves, happen to be man. a person of color. I'm <laughs> sorry. Like, they come in looking all yeah. innocent. <laughs> L- literally, little old ladies be hiding shit like by their purse on her coat or yeah, in an umbrella. Full of shit they took off the shelf. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they just I'm sorry that we're holding you to account because you're trying to steal something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I had this one woman like she was buying a giant rug. A giant rug. And I saw that ring up as um what are those? Damn yeah, right, boot. Absolutely boot. Those like little yeah, bathroom it happens, mats. It happens all the time. It's just human nature, man. What? If they people will use anything to get mm-hmm. out of trouble or as an excuse yeah. to you know, yep. for their Margo. shitty behavior, you know. So I mean working at Walmart has been interesting. I've been enjoying it actually because yeah. all the idiots it's it paid for my PS5 and my new 4K TV. That's cool, dude. <laughs> so damn right. And I'm still I, I I got more Ninja Turtles to my collection because of it. Eventually, I'll get a new PC. Hell yeah, dude! Hell yeah! I mean, that was the second reason why I got the job. Because <laughs> I'm sorry, I have equipment failure. <laughs> <laughs> she costs money, man. It's exactly. Expensive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mister Throg, welcome in. Yo. Yo, Throg. Hello. Throg. So, now we're gonna turn the tables over to Throg. <laughs> Hey, yeah, boot. No, you're. <laughs> I'm. I'm doing one now. What up? What can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hey, yeah, yes. we got you, dude. What's up, dude? Yo, hey, bro. Yeah, the other person call you racist because you called yeah. him out for parking like a cunt. You're racist. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my skin. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> <Stupid. laughs> Yo, know, some people, you know, they're just crazy. People are just, yeah, exactly. Some people are just dumb. <laughs> they like to throw that word out. <laughs> Stupid. <They're> just dumb. <laughs> it's like you get out of jail free card. Yeah. Uh, what you guys doing? We got Bud in here. Who's this guy? <laughs> yeah, he he he, uh, he made me he made me come in. He threatened not to mod for me anymore. Uh huh. He, he said oh. he, he 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 promised him blackjack and hookers, but he did. He of, did. Bud's kind of disappointed. As a I matter of fact, about that. Forget the blackjack. Yeah, forget the blackjack. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, Gal, Gal's the only hooker here. <laughs> oh my! That's not what I had in mind. <laughs> well, I got blackjack. <laughs> uh, Throg. She had oh damn it! Bo- God damn it! Boot <laughs> down, go down. Oh, fuck! God damn it! <laughs> so, Throg, how was your stream this morning or afternoon? I was just goofing around. It was only like an hour and a half thing. Uh, mostly uh, just wanted to uh, wrap up Sonic 3. Get that uh, get the badge. Out the way for, yeah, just get that out the way for tomorrow. You know, it's like in my normally scheduled uh, yeah, throw- program. Sonic 3, bro. So, last time I committed myself to RA, I was catching up the Throg. Throg had seen that I was catching up and then really took the fuck off. <laughs> Literally. Mm. How many badges have you gotten just like within two months? Let me look. Oh. I mean, you, 15, you lost. Yeah. Yeah. 15? yeah. Oh. Damn. <laughs> That's badass. <laughs> so right now, I think Throg will be able to just catch like Frank. Total badges. Right. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be able to catch Frank within the next year. <laughs> I mean, he'll get yeah. there. Starting from August, yeah, I've done 15. That's sick. Nice, dude. That's like the uh, last four, month, four months I've done 15. Yeah, GG's. Mm. Hell yeah, dude. And uh, next game on the list is Super Double Dragon? Uh, Contra 3 The Alien Wars. Oh. Contra, nice. Love, love me some Contra. Contra 3. And then Super Double Dragon. Okay. After. Yeah, Contra 3 is a great one. Yeah, I've got honestly 
this uh, this um batch of games i've been doing has been has been a good one yeah mm-hmm. it's already down right now because it's not loading for me it's it loaded i'm, I'm for on me. there okay there it goes i'm on there yeah i'm in there i mean they've been having server issues of late but it, it's as of late right now yeah, right. because it, well, well, because As it was actually light. better. It was actually it was. better, but like, for, it was for, for a while. while. Oh, and was it? Oh, cool. the last couple of days, it's been I don't know. Uh, when so, I'm at work. so you had a couple of weeks of good, and then it went bad again, huh? Yeah, I would no, say was, even a even a month. Even, yeah, it's it's probably a month or so. It was yeah. so it got good as soon actually. as I went away, and then now I'm back, and now it's shitty. They brought the, tra- see, they brought the back too. <laughs> so, so they uh, they actually had a server update, right? Isn't that? Yep. Yep, they did. Yeah, the, so when they did that, the service the had been, been significantly better. Nice. Like the site yes. and just like outages, general outages have been less. Just awesome, like, dude. Yeah. You know, like sometimes you're like, oh, uh, I can't get Chivos right now because something's wrong. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. That, has been happening, that has been happening less, at least since okay. what I've noticed since the server update. Mm-hmm. Less is good. Yeah. But the last couple of days or so, at least when I'm at work, I've looked on um, I looked on Discord and I saw that there was like a notice that there was something going on or whatever. So a couple of things have been happening of late. But before that, it was actually pretty smooth. Seems to be pretty mm-hmm. snappy right now at the moment. I'm looking at it. Yeah, I'm actually able to yeah. navigate a little bit better now. Yeah, the site doesn't take like multiple oh, hell yeah. seconds yeah. of refresh. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, yep. it's, it's, it's verging on snappy yeah oh oh bud yeah we're gonna go oh my goodness yeah, it, it reminds you of the old days right like the, yeah. the, good, old, the good old ra days where good old RA it days. wasn't yeah, so look, much traffic <laughs> batman loaded right up it didn't take like a hey, hey, bud 90 yep. seconds for it to fucking load a page hey bud the tracker the tracker is back yeah i was gonna ask i thought somebody said something about the tracker <laughs> uh retro sexuals tracker yep yes it is oh, yeah i've been hey, using yep. it Yep, the API yeah. is back. That is. I've good. been using it. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So definitely. When when you come back, you can use the tracker again. Maybe. Oh, yeah, dude, and I will. So unless it breaks again, hopefully it won't right. break again. It won't break again. It's gonna Think break. Positive. It's, it's gonna, gonna break as soon as Bud comes back. <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't put that shit on me. <laughs> and we're going to be like, it was Bud. Watch, it's going to happen now. And I know. Like, God damn it, Bud. Yeah. Re- like, it wasn't me. Retro's going to be damning him. It's going to have me believe in it and shit. Too. I'll be like, damn, maybe I did break this shit. <laughs> Dude, I was uh, I was at 397, is- and now I'm down at 431. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm at three twenty seven now. I was I was actually at three twenty five the other day. Uh, I'm go, pushing you, for three. You go away for a bit and you lose a couple of spots. <laughs> I mean, even yeah. lifted past me. What the fuck is that shit? Well, I mean, he's I mean, fast. You hey, wait. I mean, hey, he, he's a, he was. Uh, I was like looking at his numbers. And I was like, damn. Uh, yeah, he's been. I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna have to keep on it, or uh, he's gonna pass me too. <laughs> yeah, he's at three sixty six. Hey, dude, I mean, between him doing Fusion and then doing the Japanese version, like, within a bit of each other, dude, I, I mad respect him, because yep. that was really a lot really of points. Good. That's a lot yeah. of points. Those, uh, those, uh, speedrun, uh, Chivos, the, like, the, the, the Shine Spark. Yep. The Carrying the Spine, sh- uh, the, uh, Shine Spark. Yeah, the Shine Spark Legend, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, him doing that and everything. Some people, mad respect. <laughs> so well, that 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 stops people from getting that badge. There's oh, absolutely. People, there's people that just cannot do some of those achievements. It, it took a lot from me. It took a lot from me because those kind of achievements were really like push me to being able to. It took me like like a few days to be able to get that achievement. That was pretty oh. rough. And he oh, did it like in a fraction of a time of the time he did it. Speaking of Metroid achievements that hang people up on sets. How about that uh how about that crate damage list uh <laughs> it's here we go what's funny is i use bud's method i watched him do it for like what, did you? three days i was like you know what i see what bud did at the end i'm just gonna do that <laughs> and it worked what, it worked what did, what did, how did bud do it differently i, I didn't see his method he, he bounced back like he would go down shoot and then go back to the door yeah. And then do that. So it was a slower version of your. It was a you very, very of, slow you know, safety strat version of it. Yeah, I would time the jump down, just shoot, get it, back up on the ledge. Hop. 
because Thrawn yeah. Dunn did the quick hop. He would hop over, like he would freeze yeah. one of the beads, and then he would jump over the bottom one over, and he and yeah, that that took that took some time to do. Yeah. But, well, I, I didn't yeah. think there was another. I'm like, this has got to be the only way. Like, I mean, yeah. in, in my head, right? I was just like, I, well, I wasn't going to say anything because <laughs> right. I, I promised you I wasn't going to side seat drive. <laughs> I was not going to say anything. <laughs> I, I think it's called backseating. You know, I almost, I almost said something, and then Throg looks over at the camera, like at the chat. It's like, shut up, Gaul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually got my method from a YouTube video. So I mean, really? Okay. Yeah. Yep. I I had to do the some some YouTube in for the. One of the Sonic Chivos. Yeah. Um, I it can, can help which, a lot. <laughs> yeah, which one was it? I think it was. Uh, oh, the uh, complete the uh, the first level in less than a minute, and there's oh. like a cutscene and a boss, and you're just like, uh, oh, excuse shit. me, yeah, excuse me, but it apparently... doesn't pause on the cutscene, or well, you gotta get the boss too. Right. It turned out it was it was Sark Sark join. The chat and was like, oh, uh, he's like, I use supersonic, and I was like, oh, all right. Yeah. So it's I just sat there in the first level until I got supersonic, <laughs> and I was like, all right, here we go. This is better. <laughs> it's like, fuck this. I did that. that. It did help because tremendously take outside the box sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, no, because there's a there's a there's a ring. There's a bonus level in the in the corner. That, it, if you if you have all the the bonus levels, it gives you fifty rings. So you just mm -hmm. run down there, get supersonic, and then run to the end of the level. Nice. Yep. That was for Sonic Sometimes. Three, or. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Sonic Three was good, though. I think it was my favorite one so far. Although I heard that the, in the Knuckles Sonic Three version, they they make you do one of the bonus levels backwards, which sounds disgusting. Oh yeah, do yeah. do the MJ, yep. do the MJ. Uh, yeah. That's it. That's in the Sonic Three and Knuckles set. Yeah, that's yeah, what that sounds disgusting. Fun, man. That's what that I was disgusting. working on. I saw Sark do that, and I was just like, "That seems so ridiculous." <laughs> that's, that that sounds disgusting, but yeah, yeah it, it'll be the it'll be the last one of this uh, group. Mm -hmm. Did you do Sonic and Knuckles, or that's the next one? Uh, that would you, come right? up. That would come okay. up. Yeah. That'd All right. Yeah. But yeah, um, boot. You do it in reverse. Wait, is it? Are you doing Sonic Knuckles or Sonic Three and Knuckles? It's like a crazy doing those in both. Well, I'm oh do god! Sonic and Knuckles, and then Sonic and Knuckles and Three. With yep. the, okay, yeah. you're you're, are, you're not gonna touch Sonic City, are you? No, it's we're. Um, I'm only doing five games. Mm -hmm. Five sets, rather per Th game. Thank you for uh, not doing Sonic City. We've all had enough since Frank did it. <laughs> yeah, Lexi did it too. Mm. Oh, dude, yeah. watching him have to do that final level again yeah, and Lexi again and Sonic. again. It was probably <laughs> quite more miserable watching Frank do it. <laughs> no, that one level where he had to like jump up to like that one area and he would keep like falling up into the pit and everything. That like final level achievement, I was just like, <laughs> it just felt so empty at that point. <laughs> Luckily, you well, that yeah, that that backwards one's gonna suck, but um. You know, we're just keeping things varied, so you know, going through well, these. Good. Don't forget, they also changed Sonic CD with the Batniks. You can't like do like the respawns like what they did. Hmm. So, yeah. Gross. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. We're gonna be doing uh, uh Contra Three next. <laughs> yep, Alien War, baby. Uh, yeah, and then uh. Super Double Dragon and then Mega Man Four. So, and your next stream will be tomorrow. Yeah. Kick yeah. Ass. Yeah, like the evening, like afternoon, ish. Mm -hmm. All right. So, any other future plans for your streams? Like any ideas? Like that you're coming up with some new work you're working on. Uh, I was trying to come up with um, I would rather um, just follow up with like suggestions and shit. I haven't uh, really did anything new other than uh, 
uh, what we'd been doing was the PC games. That's been uh, like uh, PC games that uh, been doing the campaigns on and, uh, cool. you know, recording all those and putting those on YouTube. So that's mm-hmm. new. Uh, what about you, what about you, bud? Anything new with your channel once you uh, decide to come back? Yeah, I was actually. It's interesting that you're doing PC games. I was thinking about coming back and doing uh, some PC uh, games when I actually do come back. I was working on um, Knights of the Old Republic, uh, modding, going through uh, on PC, obviously going through and modding that, and I've done an. Uh, an overhaul mod pack I got from Nexus Mods and uh, got it running in HD. Um, well, it could run in 4K, but I don't have 4K monitor. But anyway, I got it running full HD uh, with some texture enhancements and some character enhancements. And it's just kind of like a um, almost like a remaster, but done with mods for the game. It looks right. quite good, actually. I even found a ray tracing mod for it, but I haven't tried that one yet. I just done the the uh, enhancement pack, and it's uh, it's been pretty fun messing with it. I haven't actually gone through and played the game fully with all the enhancements done yet, but that's going to be the next thing. And I thought about doing some streams, maybe with that, just to kind of show that off and just kind of appreciate the game. <clears throat> and Mr. Bongos, what about you? <laughs> uh, not really anything special, man. Maybe actually make some plans. That'd be a change. Okay. Yeah. I've been there, dude. That's <laughs> uh, usually it's yeah. just hit go live That's and funny. just talk shit. That's usually That's how funny. I yeah, well, pretty much yeah. Uh, yeah, no, like uh back to the PC game thing. Like uh I don't know if you guys have been catching any of that, but if we've been doing that DOS DOS at dark. Yeah. Uh, at DOS after dark, it's been kinda like the new thing. I like the name of that. That's cool, dude. Yeah, it's just it would be doing it for a while since Kick came out. Um and then uh, after, um, I, I haven't really been, I, I kind of shifted off of kick. Um, <laughs> and we were just doing it, doing the DOS at After Dark on Twitch. Nice. Yeah. Um, Anything in particular you've been playing recently on that? Um, yeah, we were doing, um, it started out with, uh, with uh, like Roller Coaster Tycoon, um, Blood. Uh, you know the uh, first-person shooter. Yeah, I've seen Travis play that one. That's a, that's a cool-looking game. Yeah, and then we were doing SimCity 2000. Oh, oh yeah, I watched uh, that. I think I went, uh, was it the SNES version or? I think I was playing the no, that was the DOS version, like the DOS. It was box. the DOS version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the old school DOS. Right. And then uh, we did Dungeon Keeper, which was DOS. Um. And then recently, um, yeah, we did. I did all all on Twitch, uh, the Dungeon Keeper run. I'm gonna post that on YouTube once I get. I gotta fucking clip that shit out. (laughs) Um, And now we're now we're uh, been doing uh, Age of Empires two. Oh, dude! Uh, I just installed that. (laughs) We've been going through the we've been going through the campaign, um, and uh, I have them all clipped out in my Twitch library. But I'm gonna be posting that on YouTube as well. Because um, uh noticed there wasn't a whole lot of uh you know videos of that. It was only a couple people that had their um their campaigns of these different games. I was looking into other games that like abandoned wear, you know, type shit. Um and people seem to dig that shit. Like you've been breaking out like these old games. Um like Age of Empires in particular very very, cool. seem to be very very Popular. Yeah, that's got a still got a big community around that. There's still a lot of people playing that on Twitch. Yeah, like if like it, you playing <laughs> when I pop on the Age of Empires, we're getting some some Age of Empires junkies popping in. Oh sure, yeah, I bet. Yeah, uh, I've, I've that, been in the channel before or the directory before. It's it's pretty active. Well, there's actually quite a bit of people playing the remaster, but I wouldn't play that. I looked at the remaster and I'm like, this does not look. This doesn't look pretty. <laughs> it's, 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 I don't that's know, what I got is the remaster. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it, well, t- it, I don't know. It looks different. It looks different. Um, yeah, I, uh, I guess I'm just used to it. I'd have to go back and look at the original. It's been so long since I've seen it. Well, the original won't even play unless you heavily mod it. It it, it won't work on Windows uh, 11. I got. I got and, uh, oh, okay. So you got to mod it. You got to like you got to adjust it. Otherwise, it it just won't work. <laughs> A big hassle that may or may not work, and then it, once you get it working, it right. may. 
crash on you and all that. Yeah, I, I understand. <laughs> right. And I was going to do the same with the roller coaster tycoon thing. I did. Um, we were really getting into people were digging the roller coaster tycoon, tycoon thing. I, I'll probably have to bring that back around. I do want to bring something on game. Show something real quick that you made or put together, Throg. Uh, let's see if I can pull this up real quick. Uh -huh. Which. Ah, uh, Discord. Yeah, I can't grab it. Come on. Let's pop up the second window here. Window capture. Are you talking about my TikTok or? My no, no, no. The Metroid controller. For the Metroid NES. Oh, yeah, controller. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. That, so I, there, that oh, is, I saw yes. you post that, that on X Twitter. That is, yeah, oh, yeah actually yeah, yeah. A, t a, t a TikTok and uh, of me ASL. building that. What? Yeah, I built it. Yeah, it looks sick as fuck, dude. Did a, did a video. I did a video on how I built it real quick. Like, uh, we did uh, basically tripod um, recording of the build, <clears throat> and then uh, voiceover. I'm pretty good. Nice. I just find it funny. Like, the right final on final product is nice. Like right above the BA button, it has like a little emblem that looks like the fucking Super Nintendo controller on an NES controller. I'm trying to pull it up here on Discord, but or I think it's the guy's logo that makes it. Okay, I was what I was about to. Like, yeah, because there, there's different companies that make those inlays. Okay. Um, and the guy that's that guy's logo. Okay, I was like, why is the hell is there a Super Nintendo controller like right on the NES? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, that's a that's just a uh, that's a, a logo for um graphics gear. They make okay. uh, the inlays for different um and, you know uh, mostly for the nintendo because nintendo has a place where there is a stock inlay <clears throat> uh that is made by nintendo it looks kind of just like some grip tape like think <laughs> uh like a skateboard grip tape right that's mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the inlay that comes on the nes yeah um, it, I, that, yeah it does kind of have that look Right, like a like a skateboard. Mm -hmm. I know you and no, Bud. I, you know what you're talking about, yeah. You and Bud like to dabble with control repairs quite a bit. So. No, I love oh. it. Yeah, so that's yeah. their branding above the B and A buttons, A and B buttons. Correct. Yeah, Correct. and I love yeah, the. Yes. You know, it's got the Metroid right in the middle, and dude, I love that. Yeah, that. So that is just um. All that is 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 an old uh, Nintendo controller that I had. That um, it uh, it looked like shit on the outside. I tried to spray paint it, um, but it still looked like shit. So I just yeah. uh, took the uh, the PCB, you know, the board, um, which uh, was already soldered to the uh, cable, and I just swapped out uh, the buttons and uh, the shell. Uh, for a new one, a modded one, and cleaned up the, um, you know, the the hardware for the, the they're called rubbers, and uh, they're just a they, they're just a membrane that pushes the button up against the PCB. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm nice. I'm going to take myself a small break, and uh, Gal, I'll let you take over the questionnaire right now. <laughs> I know you've been Why dying to talk. Go? Yep. So, Gal, let just ask them any question that you like. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I mean, I don't know what to add. I mean, you all have talked about uh, what you're doing with streaming and everything, and how retro gaming is playing into it and everything. I suppose. Um. Hmm. What kind of games are you... Well, you already talked about some games or whatever, but is there one game in particular, Throg, that you're looking forward to playing, you know, beyond, of course, the ones you're saying? Is there one set that you feel, you know, is going to be a particular challenge that you want to really take? Is it Metroid-related, or is it perhaps another franchise that, you know, oh. we're not knowing but yet? Um. Well, even within the, the ones that I'm doing now, uh, Alien Wars is going to be good. Yes. Uh, I am looking forward to Kirby Superstar, which is on the the list. Oh, uh, dude, that's going to be a challenge for sure. Yeah, that's going to be fun. That's a, this one. It's an old favorite of mine. And then uh, uh, 
the uh, Contra Hardcore looks good. Um, from what I understand, there was a, it's a pretty in- involved set. Um, Contra, Contra in general, mm-hmm. though, you can always expect those to be pretty intensive, for sure. It's a lot of boss fights from what I remember watching Sark play it. I haven't played that one myself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then after that, um, once we have, uh, you know, I'm done with these uh, ones I'm going to do, we're going to be uh, doing uh, game requests again. Uh, mm-hmm. So people will uh, be able to, you know, have, challenge me with, you know, their own, what whatever the hell it is that they want to see me do. But um, I also... I've been watching Lifted play uh, Order of Ecclesia, and uh, that one's caught my eye. I, pro- I think I'll probably um, hit up Order of Ecclesia. Oh, that's um, one of my favorite Castlevania games. That's probably my favorite DS one for sure. Um, yeah, it's definitely it's, it's, a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a clean looking, clean looking game. Um, so that that one caught my eye. There's a few uh, RPGs that I've been w- willing uh, wanting to to get at, and mm-hmm. um, uh, in particular, some some tactical RPGs, uh, Albert Odyssey on the, on Saturn, I believe it is. Uh, I think it's Saturn, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, which I've been wanting to get at. Um, what's that one on PlayStation? That's like uh, I think it's called Vandal Hearts. Vandal, Vandal Hearts. Hearts? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, what up, it. Dark? What Hello, Captain? Dark. Yo, Captain Dark. dark. Yeah, yeah. Oh Vandal. shit, it's old man. What up, bud? <laughs> there ain't nothing. Oh, God. There ain't, wait, hold up. There ain't nothing ginger about you. It sure the fuck ain't. <laughs> why, why does it say your name is Ginger Grant? <laughs> is, that a, is that an ironic nickname? Like calling a big guy I tiny? Have to ask solid on that. Right. One. <laughs> uh, like me, I mean, my name is just because I can't stop with puns. Apparently, Rapunzel. Oh, I get Rapunzel. it. Rapunzel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm Gilligan for some reason. You know why? <laughs> oh, self-explanatory. Right. <laughs> I shut up. <laughs> self-explanatory. Uh, well, yeah. I, uh, also, yeah. I was just saying. Um, also, I wanted to wrap up SimCity. I've been working on SimCity. Oh, uh, Sim- yep. Wanted to get that done. I was gonna do. Uh, What's that one? Sim Ant, Sim Ant, and a few other uh, of those uh, goofy games uh, mm-hmm. that are similar to that. I was, I was looking forward awesome. to playing those. Mm-hmm. Those are a whole different menagerie, different. No, that's awesome. Getting a little bit of of everything and so forth. Of course, always opening up to people to choose the games is always. I mean, what is your experience with that? Do you think it's great to open up to to people in the chat to choose? You know, the games that they they want you to play or is it always is it been more mixed in, in kind of that because we always know a mutual friend of ours who really goes hard into that and i don't know if it always turns out that way but i know people have different opinions on how it goes with letting you know chat members or people you know there be able to choose what games what is your thought on that throg uh i'm always limited on letting people pick the games um and I, I often, I, I used to just never do it. And then, um, uh, I started to do it and then we turned it off because it got a little out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> yes. As it does. Um, yes, but no. <laughs> I've, th- I've thought of, uh, and, you know, we're going to turn it back on, but it's going to be heavily limited even more so than it had been in the past. Um, in terms of what's allowed, what costs, what, and so forth. Um, you know, it's it's gonna be stuff. You know, like no RPGs, no two, no two hundred achievement sets, no <laughs> no known troll you sets, know, you, that kind of stuff. You know, my Absolutely. favorite thing about setting a no RPG rule is is that the very first person is going to ask for an RPG every of time course. Of course. <laughs> yeah, it happens every time. time you would think bud would not give me such free reign yeah it's usually I, captain I, dark yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm gonna say it's always me I'm well a man like the rpgs like, he's like tails <laughs> yeah no so well, that's the thing is uh fucking 300 achievement set <laughs> you have to you have to look at it like how much of your out how much how many hours are you willing to put up for a game that's 
you might not enjoy right so um if you're uh you know gonna be miserable playing it um you should probably limit the amount of time and if it is gonna be something that you're gonna allow people to do you're gonna have to make it worth like a lot of points so yeah uh what I would always do, I used to try to do this. I used to say that you can only request games if you're a subscriber. Mm. Uh, that gets mixed results. I feel like everyone just like forgets that rule. And <laughs> I got to remind yeah, them. And you then can't it's... enforce it. I mean, like out the gate, I mean, you have to you do verbally or it has to be an honor system thing because there's no way to set it subscriber only, unfortunately. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. And so that, that became, that kind of went out. The, that's going to have to go out the window. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the on, like the honor system, right? Exactly. Um, <laughs> uh, there, no, there, there are ways to track it, but it's 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 a whole thing. Um, yeah. It, but uh, it, what instead is it's going to end up being is uh, just more restrictive, right? Um, you know, you're not allowing games that take a long time to beat. So if it's going to be like, all right this is 200,000 points, channel points or whatever you want to say, um, pick a game. If it's going to be like, this game's going to take you fucking, you know, a hundred fucking hours to, to badge it. I'm going to say, fuck you. No, I'm not going to do it. You know? So mm-hmm. that's just, just, just the way it's going to be. No, absolutely. Cause I think part of it is just balancing what it's like, yeah, you want to be open to letting people have a choice and like, yeah, try this set or whatever, but it should always be like what one is willing to tolerate at the same time. Like if it's, Literally, and a lot of times people will do it. Oh, I really want to screw with them or whatever. And I always kind of find those to miss. Like for me, I try to always uh, recommend if I recommend a game is usually there's something I've badged or something I think that I enjoyed. Oh, like even fun. if I even if I didn't badge it, like if it, I, at least it, it's I looked over the set and it's like, look, I mean, there are kind of things that are within range of like the game and it's fun. Then I might be willing to to request that. But outside of that, yeah. Well. I guess another thing is that you know it, it's it's our right to try a game. And it's a whole another thing to beat a game, and then True. it's a whole another thing to badge a game, right? Yeah, because you're so, going to be really intensive with that game. You're going to do everything there is to be, and it should be something that's at least good. I mean, if it's something that you're putting again, as you said, h- hundreds of hours into, it's like right. Well, that, I that's look pretty tall order. Right, so like, let's just take Sonic Three for instance. Right, Sonic Three was like, it took me four days, seven hours. That sounds like a perfectly fine game that somebody yeah. could request. It was, you know, three hundred ten points, twenty nine achievements. Took me what three streams. But if I got a game that's taken me, let's say, I don't know, sixteen streams, <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> you're gonna be like, uh. This was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. And I wonder what that would be like. No, oh. <laughs> I think I think I think you know. I think I you might. Know. I might. <laughs> I think you know it. I may have been there a few times. <laughs> more than yeah. a few. You but yeah, more than a few times. Right. Became, so that's you became Resident Evil TV. I so did. That... Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 so that's where the um, you know. You know, we gotta draw a line. You gotta draw a line somewhere, and if you don't draw a line, someone's gonna draw a line on you. <laughs> yeah, and then and then and then you basically lose your mind because it's like again, you're being asked to go through games and sets that just <laughs> are a real you tall order. Well, you just, don't resonate you know, with them. You're yeah, like, I don't want to badge this game. And that's why I kind of watching you and Bud and others go with it. I mean, unlike a mutual friend of ours who has clearly let the waters continue to crest over the the walls on that um i've really dug like basically between you know bud you and others that whenever there was anything like opening up to viewers to do it there was always like either these are the games that i'm willing to go over you guys make a choice about what it is like you can choose but like i still am going to limit you or as you said look i'm willing to tolerate it up to like how much time i'm going to be willing to invest in it and it like, like after that it's just going to be like uh no I like Bud's idea how he's like, here's three games, pick. Yeah, like, yeah. 
these are the things I'm willing to badge. Like these are the things yeah. I'm willing to do. You get a choice, but it's within the range. It's, I'm it's kind of you. well, yeah. Well, it's kind of, and I I miss that. That's kind of the way I did it before I incorporated a wheel. You know, because and the wheel works good too. But I think it works a lot better for me, especially because then I'm like, here's three games, like the rock said, and then I get to pick the three games. Like these three games look good to me. You guys get to pick which one of those three I play. Then it's like. I get to have some control over the content and then the community gets to, you know, have a vote or a little bit of a say. So yeah. it's, you know, it's, it's a, it's a win-win. Exactly. I do got to, like to point out that it got dark in here. Uh, mm. uh, uh, I, uh, Captain and Dark. I'm the one who's, and, and I'm the one in here called Rapunzel. Yeah, right. we need to switch that name over. <laughs> yeah, it has to be the, it has to be the skip pun. Yes. <laughs> dark, how the fuck you been? Uh, been good overall. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I know you've been playing what Apex recently, or yeah, I, yeah. I got back into Apex, and nah, I got back because you know I always play Apex, but I got I got back into Warframe. Warframe, okay. So I've been playing a lot of Warframe, uh, because they just allowed our dojo back. So uh, Wait. from PlayStation, yeah, we had our, our dojo because we started playing Warframe on PlayStation, and uh, so our dojo was just kind of stuck there. But they did the whole cross platform and then okay. cross clan. We was able to get back in our dojo, get all our ranks back. So we've been kind of sprucing up our dojo a little bit, having fun, you know, playing with the crew. Mm -hmm. I, I was gonna say because somebody that was going sporadic, fantastic over Star Ocean Two. I haven't seen much streams for you about that. Well, you know what's been going on. Yeah. Man. So keep the stream light, you know, off of all that shit. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much why. Because I, I, I get on and I'm like, all right, I'm about to, you know, play and then I'm going to just get the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I haven't played. I haven't touched it since my last stream. I have not. Okay. I've been wanting to. And I've been like, damn, man, I just want to, I'd be eager to fuck, as fuck, like, play it and just start doing shit off stream. But I also want to finish what I started, at least on stream. If I if I was to do Rain of Story, maybe I, I you know, I can do that shit off stream. It's, it's no big, it's the same fucking story with, like, a few minor differences, right? And <laughs> there's, like, a character, there's one character that you can get that you can't get in Claw Story. And that's pretty much the difference. That's it. So, Rain of Story is not necessary for me to play online, but I do need to eventually stream uh and finish Claude's scenario and 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 kind of get through that i i'm more than halfway through now i'm technically will we, on the playstation one it will be disc two already i would already be on disc two yep and uh cool. i actually got to show this to dark the other day but uh yeah we remember when i played tales of fantasia yes and Just... i had pointed out that somebody was cheating Oh, the the race. Yep, the the race one. They <laughs> yeah, they did. they did it like under a second or something. Yep, like ridiculous yeah. like that. And I was like, yeah, like that's impossible. They did not take the badge, but they did take them off the leaderboards. Well, good for that at least. So the, still, I, it's funny just seeing that. I remember seeing that time when you showed yep. it to me, and I was just like, yeah, there's just no freaking way that can happen. They they got no, three no. seconds on the lap, but one second as a whole race. Bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, that's just impossible. That's, it was, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's it's impossible. Me, like, there's that's kind of what made me say that. fuck RA at that point when I realized the mods weren't, like, <laughs> taking cheating allegations seriously. That's when I nuked my whole channel. Like, I nuked my whole profile because of that shit. I was like, bro, that's some bullshit. Like, you know this shit is not possible. There's no way without cheating that you can get this. Mm -hmm. Like, when Scorched Earth. <laughs> bro, I went full cut. It was stupid. Like, they had... Well, People Bud, up there, huh? Bud did the race also, and like as soon as Bud started doing the race, I was like, "Look at this shit!" Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's like, "Wait, this is the race you were talking about? There ain't no fucking way you could do this." And it's like, "No, there exactly. isn't." Exactly, it was some bullshit. They was completing the game in like twenty hours. This that's not a tales that has the uh grade system in it. Well, it has it in there, but it's it's not. It don't function like the the later tales. Most of the later tales where you can get like uh, double and triple XP and um, you can keep some of your levels, or you can keep your levels, keep your uh, weapons, your items. You know, some of the later tales, or most of the later tales, actually have that. When you beat the game, you, you get essentially a new game plus. Oh, this yeah, one does game. not. Mm -hmm. The only thing you get in new game plus on this one is the monster book. You carry over your monster data. That's it. So the fact that oh. we're completing the game and getting it 
you know, all 331 achievements in, in 20 hours is was just impossible. Yeah, that's so really I started crazy. looking through shit. Yeah, I was <clears> looking <throat> through shit. I was like, man, how they doing this? So I, I went through, I found out, you know, that you could literally start the game, use debug mode, get anything you want from any town, get the ultimate items, get fucking levels maxed out, get all the gold you want to fucking get, and you can exit out of debug mode, go back to you where you were, save, uh, close the emulator, come back up on hardcore mode, and then play the game like ain't shit happened. Yep. Uh, you could literally let me tell you. Yeah, you can spawn. You can literally spawn any monster you want too. I went through the whole process of 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 uh, finding out like how the fuck were they doing this. I was I was talking to Solid about it. Yep. It's like Solid. This is how they were doing this shit. Like this is how they were able to do it under such and such time because they they would play for like an hour and then next thing you know they got fucking Mexico. Like come on now. The levels are like in the negatives and shit. Like what the fuck? Come he, on. He kind of Ouija did. <laughs> we had to bring that up yeah so just laid it all out there well i still remember <laughs> watching i still remember watching that video of the damn yep. ninja gaiden and i was just like dude yeah <laughs> I, Gals- I was watching a uh, solid showed it to me uh-huh. i was just like it's just I, sometimes i'm just flabbergasted that people who do Eat. stuff like that are just so blatantly like they record Eat. it and put it and i and i told asked him like when they do that, are they just like they don't care? Like, do they just like not think like anyone's gonna notice or whatever? Or they just are like whatever? I like, I, like you like, can even if they see. Do, like, I just never understood that. You can see where he <laughs> edited it, like that fast turn edit. It was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah, it's just it's so blatantly like I wonder to myself if they do it like maybe they get enjoyment out of like being blatant like that, but it's just like it, it never made sense to me. Well, then again, think... to me, you know, <laughs> well, they're not that good at video games. Maybe they're not that good at editing. But no, most it was of them are, <laughs> most of them are <laughs> trash. Well, if you look at look at speedrunners over the last few years, right? Hey, you look at the speedrunners. A lot of them have come out have been getting caught lately. You know. They, they've oh, yeah. been getting caught cheating and doing shit. You know, they'll they'll splice their runs together uh, to make it seem like they got world record. Hell, there was one in uh, GDQ. He, uh, oh, I forgot what game he was playing. It was it was a Metal Gear game. Um, the one that got the robot dude. Who was I know y'all know what's his name? Cyborg Ninja. Uh, like, on Met- Metal Gear in a yeah. Metal Gear game. Yeah. You know who I'm talking about, right? Or the very first Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. No, 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 no. It was one of the 3D ones. The PlayStation was. What's his name? Ray that is. Rick? Start yeah. with an R. Uh, it was like That's PS2. Metal Gear Solid 2. Uh, that was Metal Gear Solid 2. Yeah. Raiden's and Raiden. Yeah. Raiden, Raiden, whatever. Yeah, and yeah, that yeah, w- yeah, yeah, him. Okay, yeah, so yeah, he's that would better, Yeah, but that would have been Revengeance then. Whatever. Season 2. Yeah. What? Whatever it's called, y'all know it's one I'm talking about, and y'all know who I'm talking about. So whatever that game was, he was the uh, he he had a uh, a pre-recorded uh, video, and he was acting like he was playing it on stream at a GDQ event. Now we all know how big GDQ is. Somebody like the fact that you think you could get away with that. Basically, his his mouse clicks didn't sync up. Yep. Yeah, they didn't align with what was going on. So he ended up getting caught, and then he got called out. He acted like he got a world record and everything, you know, and then got called out. Then he got banned for it. Like, people just do it thinking it's like a self-fulfillment thing. You think you doing something by cheating. And I'm like... trying to pull one over. Well, you're going to say something, uh, Throg, by the way. You were were trying to say something about uh, the cheating or so forth. We were talking, and then I saw you interjecting or what have you, just to make sure in case we weren't cutting you off there for a moment. (laughs) Uh, I was, or you saying uh, that it was blatant, and I was like, "Come on, how blatant? More blatant could you be?" I mean, All right, You're right. <laughs> and it's just, I just wonder to myself why, as you said, the Captain Dark, like, yeah, it probably is that they're just like, maybe it's the drive, like they just kind of get the feel, like, yeah, we're just like getting the world record or something. Maybe it just gets to them, but I just sometimes wonder, like, why would you go to such lengths when it's so blatantly in your face? Like, come on, I think- like. I it's think he wanted weird. to see how far he could take it before they would actually do something about it. Mm-hmm. 
Probably, maybe a game of chicken or something like that. I don't know, but it's just I mean, it, weird. It like was. That. I mean, right. the guy got to the, the he got to the top ten in in less than fucking eleven months. We we'll say, yeah, no, I've been out of the loop for so long. So did he <laughs> yeah. finally get banned or some shit? Yep. Yeah, oh, he's and then, and, and, no, no, and then he came back to try and stream to quote unquote prove that he was there, and then he got banned again. And he he cheated <laughs> on the stream. Yeah. Yeah. He cheated live on stream. Wow. wow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What I, I didn't hear about that yeah, one, but wow. Ballsy, I mean, yeah, that is hella ballsy. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm just yeah. saying, like, this is the kind of thing that when you hear stories like this, you're just kind of like, I'm telling you, I he just, just wanted to see why. how far he can get away with it till someone was actually do something about it. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, they, it's it's like it's like. <sighs> It, it's like a drive like they it's just something that's like like it must get to a point where it's just like wow you know like it gets to the you're just like wow i can just get rid of it and everyone's just gonna you know not gonna know, like know troll, or anything. you know and, yeah. i don't think it was it was uh not, they're not gonna know it was just they weren't gonna do anything about it right it was just yeah. like I, i'm gonna get to number one and and no one's gonna stop me yeah, and it, it came close. What did he get to? I think he got to like eight or seven before they actually shut him down. Yeah, he had to have gotten to like seven or eight or yeah. something wow, like that's, that. He that's... definitely got up there. Like, if you're gonna cheat, 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 and one cheat in single player game, cheat offline, cheat, but don't if you're doing like competition stuff like yeah. that, don't don't fucking cheat. Like I don't oh, mind cheating in games. Even, that it's like, cool. you can cheat game. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's a game of chicken. It's, it's just. Seeing how long he can get away to, with I, it, that's that's yeah. a reasonable. Yeah, it's that's the only way. Like, um, I, I don't care if you cheat. I really don't like cheat, cheat, but cheat on your own time. Like it, especially mm -hmm. like older games. We know most older games don't have new game plus, so you cheat, get back, get to shit. Like get the shit that you want to get, just kind of get some like revenge fun on the, all the enemies that gave you a hard time type shit. Just admit that's it, about you it. Safe states, it's okay. Yeah, but yeah, like no. you can play on. That's what so that's what softcore is for. Like, go and do it. But like, when you're doing like competition or like you're going on leaderboards, then it gets you know like, right. come on, man. <laughs> uh, any viewer questions while we're here? Uh, go ahead and ask away. I'm actually, speaking of which, I'm yeah. getting close to. Yeah. I, 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 well, first of all, let me ask how everybody else has been because I've been MIA like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> start with I'm coach. Okay. All right. Start with yeah. Start with coach. Come on, yeah. coach. I've been doing, man. Hey, shit. This is the first time I ever talked to you, man. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, because I missed your th yeah, missed your thing. I had to yeah. <laughs> yeah, you dipped a couple times, man. But yeah, yeah Look, it's understandable. After I dipped that, on you and I and I miss I missed lifted. He won't let me lift that one down. So yeah. lift it's lift it's missed twice wow. already. So yeah, I wouldn't know what it's like for somebody to not let somebody lift something down, Captain Dark. <laughs> 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 no, I mess with I mess with Bud more because he 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 lives in in the same uh, state as me, so I gotta pick on Bud more. <laughs> Sorry, Bud. It's that who's your hostility y'all hear about? And they, and <laughs> <laughs> how you been, Bud? I know last time we talked, uh, I just kind of asked how you were doing and didn't get to respond back. Uh, I've been all right, man. I just been, yeah, we were talking earlier. I just doing, you know, uh, working, trying to pay off, you know, some of these vet bills that we got racked up when uh, we had the sick cats. And, uh, other than that, I've just been doing, you know, stuff around the house that needs to be done and just boring day to day, normal shit. Who you telling man? What the power in my master bedroom, like all the, I got power in there. The, like the, the light switch works. Mm. <laughs> I was laying there one day. And the the outlets just all died on me. Every single one of them died. Jesus. On me. Oh, <laughs> but I had the I had the fan in the air running. That was it. And my charge, mm. I was still in charge of my phone, and everything just said. Pew! I was like, "What the fuck?" So I go down and check. You heard it pop? Box. No, I didn't pop. <laughs> it oh, just, you didn't hear everything okay. just like shut off. That's good. Yeah. Well, yeah. Breaker sounds like. Yeah. Nope. It wasn't even the breaker. I had, yeah. I just got that thing replaced. So that was my nat, you know. Naturally, I was like, "Oh, maybe you know, maybe just a little too much." I don't know. I go check the breaker. None of the shit's pot. It turns out that my hot and ground wires somewhere that leads to that room are reversed. So we don't even know how the fuck that shit was working in the first place. Yo, the yes. fuck? Hey, did you guys answer the million dollar question tonight? What was the million dollar question? The, yeah, the million dollar question. What was that? The million dollar. It was what is was do we got an ETA on a budstream? Is that a? 
Oh, the million sure. dollars question. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm thinking about coming back and doing some, uh, you know, maybe a couple of days a week, maybe while I'm working on, uh, yeah, I'm being really flaky. I understand right now. I was thinking about possibly this Saturday doing a short stream. Maybe oh, really? Doing, doing some KOTOR. We heard, yeah, that, we heard that one before, though. Yeah, you have heard that one before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I got high. And <laughs> sure. Da, 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 da. Um, no, but I was thinking about doing some Kotar. Like I said, I was working on uh, Knights of the Old Republic, modding that and making it look all spiffy and pretty and HD and proper. And uh, all right, your computer's gonna fucking blow up. You ain't even rebuilt the damn thing yet. It worked just fine. I was testing earlier and it was playing. And it worked beautiful. while streaming. That is a whole different beast, and you know it. It works while recording, so the encoding works. But that's not so. The same if, if 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 uploading is going to affect it differently, I doubt it. <laughs> it's still encoding, so the encoder runs and everything runs fine. So I don't. Do you stream and record at the same time, or you just like do one or the other? I stream and record at the same time. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've upgraded my hardware since last time I tried to play it. Oh, have you? Yeah. Last time Blood yep. played that shit. I was, I, on that, I, was on that 16, I was on that 1650, GTX 1650 last time. Yeah, I, I remember. I, I yeah. was falling asleep at work. I was trying to support <laughs> Bud, but damn, was that shit boring. And yeah. it was like poppy as hell. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We're talking about Star Wars right now. Yes. I was, and, this is the, 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 you, know, this, you know that Captain Dark can't wait to watch uh, me play a Star Wars game. I'm no. still waiting for his uh, Stormtrooper helmet stream. That's been I four can't years. Even fucking stream right now, let alone get a stormtrooper helmet. Yeah, we, you owe us one of those. I remember that. Uh huh. Four I years. I gotta bounce out. All right, dude. I know. I, I know. Gal, Gal has to go too. Also. Yeah, I'm gonna have to head out shortly. But yeah, thank you, thanks yeah, for hanging out, Throg. Work and everything. <laughs> yeah, I think it's probably about time to get on. Yeah. But, yeah. Always a pleasure. Oh, right. Absolutely. Catch you later. Wonderful to chew the fad with y'all. Yeah, nice chill with y'all. As User always, your channel was banned. Yeah. <laughs> Good timing, Throg. Always here from Solid, always here from Solid and Gall. So, Bud, it's actually nice to hear your voice. I know nice I can call you, you from time to time. I just don't. I don't even know. I need to just get your number. I don't know why I don't have your number at this point. I thought you did, but if you don't, just no, hit hell, me up on. I would have texted you by now if that was the case. I hit knew. me up on Discord, man. Yeah, I, I'll hit you up. Are you ready? It's dot, dot, dot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> My number is redacted. You're right. Redacted. <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys later. Thanks, all. Later, brother. Always later, guys. Guys. Later. Uh, this, this has been fun. Always yeah, a pleasure, later. man. I just think we should do this one on. time on a weekend so that we could like have more <laughs> time at some point. Yeah, when we can, of course. So, since uh, lifted missed on us twice, and Ga dark actually showed up. Oh, you know, I'm about to talk my shit. Yep. I'm a kid with his strings. I'm gonna go talk my shit. Yep. 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 I my daughter's on vacation. Yeah, well, matter of well, fact, well, she's on winter break, so I'm gonna definitely find some time. What's yeah, I'm gonna talk my shit. <laughs> There's a holy diver. No, we de we definitely have to have pr lifted a prepared questions just oh. to completely troll him. Oh, he, he even asked me this morning. See you, coach. Thanks for hanging out. Also, of course. But uh, he asked I me this morning if we we're doing it. I was like, yeah. So he knew. He knew. He knew. I'm going to Hey son, where the fuck was you at? <laughs> did 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 your Eagles girlfriend fan uh, not let you come out play? Or were, oh, oh I, I got lifted or not lifted. Uh, Matt Good earlier. I was playing Spider Man Two. He was like, "God damn it, Saul! I want to watch your fucking stream, but you're playing this game. I want to fucking play." Blah 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 blah. I was like, "Dude, I know you're not going to play this game because you have to play as a black person." <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> wow. <laughs> What the fuck, Solid? We all know Matt's a racist. Oh, yeah, man. Then I guess he almost got Frank banned the other day on stream. Oh, really? Oh, wow, I didn't really? know that. He, he, he was about to drop an F word that wasn't fuck. Oh, 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 oh yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Fox pointed that one out. I was like, God damn, Matt. Yeah, that, that, wow. <laughs> that, that's going to make Gal hate you even more. Some people are just, nah, 
So it, some people just, you know, are on Twitch or anywhere. It just gets, you know. Well, it's COD, so. Yeah. We all know how toxic yeah. that is. Yeah. Well, Matt yeah. also most of the time is high as fuck anyway. Like, he right. doesn't even know what the hell's even going on, so. <laughs> Our, <laughs> which is the joke always with the, him. With whatever I say, you seen giraffes lately, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, on that note, as yep. much as I want to keep talking, I I yep. have to go. Yep, and it's always a pleasure talking with you, Solid, and especially you, Dark. I'm glad to hear from you, and I hope everything goes well, man. Yeah, really appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Of course. Have a good one, gal. Later, guys. And of course, it's down to the original two. Oh no! Right, damn. <laughs> oh, and we're, yeah. we're we're still live. I got to point that out. We're live okay. still. <laughs> so watch your right. damn mouth. <laughs> yeah, I will watch. I still remember the etiquette now. Uh, it ain't been that long that I forgot. I won't say nothing too crazy yet. <laughs> yet, eat. You know, I always got to try to get you banned at least once. So uh, uh, right. <laughs> Drop the n bomb like it's all cool. I'm like, he's black. I swear. I swear to God, he's black. Right. I was <laughs> like, oh shit, it's not my fucking stream. <laughs> Fuck. Can't say that here. Get solid in trouble. People really think like hey, you gonna have to prove it. Yeah, boot boot would be the one reporting me. Oh lord, Where, <laughs> boot's still here somewhere lurking. I know, nah, right? I think he, I think he left earlier. Yeah, probably. He might be lurking. Boot might be lurking. Uh, actually. Yeah, I know. Uh, I I saw that. Was Paul still here? Or did he leave too? I think Paul left too because I saw him. Rich? And then I seen. I don't think I've seen him talk ever since I joined in. I saw, see, I came in and started scaring people away. The boogie uh, man. I mean, how he he must have came in like right when I took my little break there. Yeah, you were uh, you were still muted actually when I came in. So I had I just like, oh, I had just got a break right when he popped in. So ah yeah, see, I was like, fuck, let me hurry up and get in here. I was running to the damn computer. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a long because it, man, it's been a it's been a long fucking day today, you know. Just and it really wasn't bad. It was just long. It was, um, you know, baby mama got the the other kid on the way, and I went to yeah. her uh, doctor's appointment. It went it, it, like the whole glucose test thing. So she had to do the glu glucose test. Luckily, she doesn't have gestational diabetes and none of that shit. So, hooray. Uh, but yeah, it was a three hour test. And of course, she had to eat after that because you got the baby to feed and whatnot. Then she found some stuff online. So we had to go get one of those. Um, I don't know if you've seen them. They're called Mama Roos. And they're just like, they kind of look like baby chairs. But this time they're all, they're like motorized. So they kind of do like different motions to kind of help the baby sleep and whatnot. Anyway, it was $80 versus $270. So I mean, hmm. you really can't beat that deal. And it was like, clean like dinner brand new they they had it nice so let me let me change scenes here oh. Ooh, okay i saw that yeah yeah i think you need to fix the uh it's oh, what's it called it's it's the how fast it changes to that scene? that's that's how it has to go Oh really? Yeah, I would I would have slowed it down, but yeah, that's literally how they made it. Uh, oh wait, uh, well I'll talk to you about it after. Yeah, maybe I, there might there might be a way, despite the scene itself, you know. Anyway, it's yeah, man. How are you doing? Because I know it's, it's been like forever. I'm doing all right. I'm trying to so that camera you gave me. Oh, did it finally die? It's like a broken wire somewhere. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. I don't know how. But... At least it was free. Yep. I don't feel I don't feel bad if I had to, had to <laughs> if I made you like pay for it. But like here's your money back, solid. There I am. Well move me down somewhere here. I I'm like a lot closer than I was before, so Yeah, I see the whole head now. You're right. Big 50 ass inch TV. Man. Oh, man. Compared to. I, I kind of missed this. Yeah. I, I joined in. I was like, damn, this is kind of. Wait a minute. 
I just gotta get my. I basically gotta reclaim my time back. You know, gotta gotta get that time back, and then get back on this. I mean, man, I I get unless they change my schedule. My schedule's been pretty consistent recently. I'm off Wednesday and Thursdays. But Is that I, when you normally go? Are you starting to go like live at those times? I, I don't know why. Wait, where'd you go? I'm still here. Oh, there you go. I, I think it, it might have cut out. Yeah, the camera just shut off. Like, oh, okay. I said it's like a broken wire. Like, don't know exactly where. <clears throat> but are you streaming during those times? I haven't really, like, that's the problem, like, by the time I wake up on Wednesday, I'm still feeling it from the night before from working. It's just like, uh, I did stream this morning. I did some uh, Spider-Man 2. But to do RA and stuff like that, it's that's a no-go. Limited time and everything. Yes, I don't blame you doing RA it's or like, not doing RA, well, especially while, you know, the two days off. And they're not even on the weekend. Right. You know, so and there, like tomorrow, I'll probably do more Spider Man. I mean, I'm having fun with the game. Just started this morning, but also I've been playing my PS Five a lot. And I know going back from PC streams back to a just straight from PlayStation again, it's not really a good look. But fuck, I've been enjoying my PS Five. Ain't nothing wrong with that shit. If I had the money to get me a PS5, I would. And it's only just for the exclusive, because everything else I just get on PC anyway. Or to right. play, you know, play play with my buddies. So my buddies are still on PlayStation. And you know, a lot of games ain't crossplay. Like when you ask me, like, what what am I trying to play crossplay with? And I'm like, I want to play uh Monster Hunter Wilds. Uh D Boy. D Boy's still on PlayStation. King is on PC, you know, but D Boy's still on PlayStation. And so oh. is Grim. I would like to play, you know, have a have a squad, especially a monster hunter. Because when we was on PlayStation, we all squatted up. Boy, we squatted up in there on PS4 with uh with World. Yeah, we was in there getting it. <laughs> we was in there getting it. I got World for PS4, but never had a chance to play because by the time I got it, I got tired of paying all that money for Plus and not really actually using it, you know. And that's another thing. I don't want to play pay for that shit. They didn't increase the prices. Like I don't. I don't care to pay for it. I'd rather just pay for the game. I already pay enough right. for my fucking internet bill. Right. I don't want to have to pay. And then they wrote. You know, they raise the prices. And I get it. You could pay for a year, but like oh. every time we do that, you know, they just keep raising the prices mm -hmm. more and more. Um, I forget. I just bought subscription. I did a month. I do monthly right now. I forget how much I pay. Uh, Goddamn, it's not a lot monthly. I no, could, I could do the, I could do the monthly. Well, you know, I could have done the monthly, and I could have done the, I could have done the yearly. I just, I didn't, I couldn't justify it, right? Because I don't play my PlayStation enough to justify paying that much, especially it's, for like one or two games, and and most of the time it's gonna fucking collect dust. Cause I play my PC a lot, mm -hmm. you know. So, so it's like I, I, I can't, I can't justify the cost, and I'm becoming more and more uh, conscious about like how much money I spend. Mm -hmm. Like, understandable. Know, I, yeah. Well, I, it it kind of hit me when uh, my baby mama she can't she was she had to get surgery. Uh, mind you, while she pregnant, but anyway, uh, she got her gallbladder removed. Oh. But before she got her gallbladder removed, it was causing her so many issues that we didn't even think about. It caused her so many fucking issues. She couldn't eat, like, at all. Like, most of the foods that, you know, I get, like, the uh, women's taste would change during pregnancy. And a lot of shit can happen while they're pregnant. But in this case, like, she would just throw up everything except certain foods. And in most of the time, it was just fast food. That's literally all she could eat. I spent over two to $3,000 on fast food just to make sure she could eat. And I was like, fuck that. It's like, hey, next. I said, man, I see how fast this shit like racks up. And I'm like, nah, I see. So I started like looking at my budgets and like what I'm spending my money on. And I'm like, mm, 
I don't want to spend it on this because I don't think it's worth it for one to two uses, a few uses out of the month type, you know. So I, I just kind of, after realizing how much money I spent, I, and I get it, it was for a good cause, but it was still too much money and it made me a little conscious. I'm like, damn, that's $3,000. I could have done this. I could have done. I was like, hell no. Wait a minute. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I, I kept I helped keeping the child alive. So it was worth it. Definitely. But damn, that was a lot of money to be spending. So, you know, but uh, it really wasn't a big deal. I'm not even complaining, but it did teach me a lesson about, like, where I'm, like what the fuck I'm buying and shit. So it was like, eh, let me just, let me just stay away uh, from certain shit. Just because I, I can't, I can't do that no more. <laughs> and so now, like, I look up, like, oh, I want this piece. And I'm like, mm, do I really need it? And by the time I get there, I'm like, eh, I don't need it. Fuck it. Fuck that. So. But yeah, PlayStation. Mm. I want a PS5 though. Cause some yeah. of those games like Spider Man, you got a war, Ragnarok. Yep. You know, whatever of, else may come out. Final Fantasy 16. Yeah. But they got a <laughs> they got a PC port coming out, so I ain't really worried about that. They got a PC port. I'm not really worried about playing the game first. I'm worried about being able to play it on PC. Like Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, we know that shit is exclusive. Right. I think it's exclusive for PlayStation until about May is what it was. May 29th. Okay, so May 29th. Oh, wait, no, not 29th. Oh, is it the 29th? Yeah. Okay. Well, wait, Exactly okay, three so, months later or something like that. Yeah, okay. So yeah, May 29th. It's exclusive until then. Then, they, you know, they'll have the PC ports and shit out. You know, I'll I'll grab it then. Well, I will, like, you know, yeah, how you grab it, yeah. Yeah, I'll grab it then, and um, you know, the next game after that is probably going to be, what, Dirge of Cerberus, because I think that's part of the Final Fantasy VII series, too. Uh, yeah. Dirge of Cerberus, and then you're going to have the, the whatever the final party is a few years after that. Um, I, but I'd rather wait for the PC version. It's just a better way to play for me. I still need to get Crisis Core. I got it. I uh, haven't played none of them. I'm waiting until all, you know, I told you, yeah. I'm waiting until all the pieces are coming out. Well, I hate getting hyped. I, I'm waiting until, I'll definitely pick up uh, Day 1 Rebirth, so. I just, I don't want to play, I don't want to get too hyped on the game and then I can't finish the fucking game. That shit would piss me off. You know, you play part one of, uh, re, uh what is it called? Uh, remake. You remake. Play remake. They had to wait what three years, I think, for re uh reunion to come out. Reunion, yeah. Um All right. well, no. rebirth. Rebirth. Re- rebirth is well, reunion is Crisis Core. That came yeah, out like Crisis like, Core is familiar. Yeah, you're right, you're right. That just came out like what? A year? A year ago, yeah. Wow. That came out a year ago. But we still had to wait three years. So we had to wait three uh, four. Because I think Re, I think remake came out in 2020. Yeah, 21 somewhere around there. So three or four years we have to wait. I don't want to have to wait that long after getting so hyped on the game. That's gonna kill my job to fucking play it. So yeah, and even then, uh, let's see, 2020, 2024. When did it? It's it, like they were saying that it was supposed to come out on PS4. Also, I remember that. Really? They managed to pull that off? No. They were saying, like, all this was supposed to come out on PS4 also. But then, when they came out with Intermission, exclusively for PC and PS5, that's when they were like, oh, by the way, PS4 owners, you're getting screwed again. That's another reason why I got a PS5. (laughs) I mean, yeah, but realistically, I think people just have to... I think people need, just need to start accepting the fact that when new hardware comes out, y'all know it's gonna it's Sorry. gonna get put on the back burner. Yep. Uh, y'all know that the PS5 is vastly more powerful than the PS4. Uh, we know when the P- uh, PlayStation 6 come out, it's gonna be vastly more powerful than the PS5, and eventually the game's gonna be put on the back burner. Instead, I get we all want to get as much usage out of our get, uh, consoles as possible, but realistically, if they're going for top graphics, top gameplay, all these fancy shit. They're not going to be able to do it on the last gen as well. And ultimately, it hurts uh, the project because then you're trying to, you got to downgrade the shit. Like, why the fuck did they release Mortal Kombat 1 on the Switch? 
Oh god, I seen the looks of that shit. That, and yet, that, I don't know if they changed it, but it looked bad. <laughs> and yet, they never released it on the PS4 or Xbox. Really? Like, yeah, it's PS5, Why? Xbox Series S, X, Nintendo Switch. What? Yeah, but on the PS4, not even released. You would think that should that should have damn sure been released on the PS4. That had you, to be a Sony thing more than a developer thing. I, I'm blaming Sony on that one. Maybe. I mean, but I just have to like, wow. Why the fuck would you even attempt to release a game on the Switch that powerful now? Nah. And knowing that it, uh Have you seen how some of those look too? Like, like some of the triple A games yeah, and yep. how they look on the Switch compared. Like we know it, it's a portable console. It's not supposed to look right like a PS4 or 5 game. Right. It's just not. Or even Xbox Series right. X. It's not. But the fact that you have releasing this shit on there. But I'm all up for I'm all up for console uh inclusivity. Just because I I prefer get I prefer everybody be able to play. Right. That's that's my preference. Like I hate I really as I got I, I was cool with like baby I think a lot of us when we were younger we were all in the console war type shit. But as I got older, I stopped caring about the console war. I was like, man, I just want more people to play. Right. Like, I want to be able to play this shit on I, PC. Where if you if you just want to do PlayStation, do PlayStation. That's cool. As soon as like the lo- like online shit became more widespread, that's when the console war died. Yeah, I had to say so. Because you start letting more and more people online, then you got more and more people that want to play with their friends. Not everybody can go afford a PlayStation just to go play with their friends when they got an Xbox or vice versa. They, you know, you don't want to go buy a fucking Xbox when you got your friends on. Uh, <clears throat> uh, you want to, yeah, you want to go buy an Xbox because your friends on there when you got a PlayStation five, just like I don't want to have to go buy a whole new console when I got a whole PC right here. Right. Yeah. And a lot of the, I think a lot of the argument here for like, especially against PC players is like, Oh, well, a lot of them cheat. I mean, yeah, but how many people cheat on consoles? Like, right. You have no idea how many people can easily cheat on consoles. Like, it's ridiculous. It's not hard. It's it's really not. So, people cheat on every platform, and and, and then they, you know the goalposts kind of moves. So everybody cheats more on PC, and that may be true. I don't know the numbers or the stats on it. I don't really give a damn. But you know the people that you playing with. You know, if we playing Monster Hunter together, if a motherfucker cheating it, it don't hurt you none. It may make your playtime a little boring for that match because they didn't kill the monster super easy, but it doesn't it doesn't hurt you in any way. Now, if you go cheat on Call of Duty and a motherfucker sniping you from across the map, I I I understand that argument there. You know, right? I can I can fully understand that shit there. But a game where it doesn't bother you, whatever. Um. So I I can kind of understand the argument against PC players, but then again, I can't, I still can't justify it because it allows more people to play. And you want more people to play because the more people to play, the more the the uh, team gets, the developers get. The more the developers get, the more they're going to be willing to make games. It's like, oh, our profits. We getting these profits because, you know, uh, <clears throat> all the platforms that are buying. So I'd rather have them make more games. I'd rather... Square make more games. Bandai make more games. Um, I'd rather them continue to make games and shit versus uh, I know we we know they won't shut down, but just a smaller game company than them shutting down. Dude. So, I, 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 have you been, like, looking at any of the Steam or any sales online recently? Oh fuck! What's Not that? Sales now. I kind of, I kind of pay attention uh, to just the releases, but I ain't watch no like uh, sales or anything like that. Well, I got Square Onyx games on sale and all that shit. Yeah, but what games? Uh, which one you want? Mm, I got Star Ocean, so. Only game I think the only square game I'm kind of looking forward to right now is 16. 
16 and Rebirth. And that, like I said, I'm not even going to play Rebirth until the final part comes out. See, Remake Intergrade is 35. Octopath Traveler is 42. Near Automata, 16. I got Near Automata, and I got Octopath. Octopath Traveler is a good game. Stranger of Paradise game. is 24. Got that. Price is course 30. Got that. Dragon Quest, The Adventure of Die. I don't have that. I heard mixed reviews about this, so I haven't bothered looking into yeah. it. I ain't looked into it myself yet to you know to see. Graphics look pretty good on it. Hey, they do. Hey, I think they, you know what? Speaking of Dragon Quest, I think they had an update on that uh, two and a half 3D remake of, what was it, Dragon Quest 2 or 3? Uh, you know what I'm talking about? No. Uh, They're remaking one of them. I, I want to say it's two. It's you gotta excuse me. I can't <laughs> research like I normally can. I'm on my air mattress again until <laughs> wow. that room gets well the, until that room gets power again. Right. I'm back in the fucking game room. Uh let's see, Dragon Dragon Quest HD 2D. Okay, which one is it? It's three. Three? Okay. Yeah, it's three. It's uh the HD 2D remake. Kind of like how they did Octopath Traveler and how they, but they upgraded like almost everything about the game. It looks, for like the preview, it looks nice. I still need to get it's still, it's still Dragon Quest, so it's still like turn based. I need to get a uh, Live a Lie. Live a lie. I've, never, I've heard good things about that. I just, I don't know. Look. I guess it didn't graphically, not even graphically, just. It didn't appeal to me at first. Just a quick glance. Uh, here's a game for you. Power Wash Simulator. No. That's <laughs> just boring. If I want to Power Wash shit, I, I got Right. One. Right. Triangle Strategy? I think I have that. What? I heard it's a good game, too. It looks just like Octopath. I think it's similar like that, but it's more of like tactics Tur gameplay. Turn-based tactics, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't... I have to really get into tactics. It's like I, gotta be right. one of those days where I'm bored and I just try it out. I like tactics though. I do. Cause uh one of my favorite ones is uh uh Shining Force. Ooh. Final Fantasy yeah, Seven Ever, Ever Crisis. Ever Crisis. Yeah, that came out on PC recently. Yeah. It was just a mobile De game. December sixth, yeah. Says it's mixed review though. Huh. I mean it was a I think it was a mobile gotcha game, so it was. You just put that on PC and it's like, well. Legend of Mana, the remaster. Oh, I haven't bothered playing that. I need to, I need to get on it. I See, do want to play it, though. I, I do. Sure, I think it's tomorrow, though. Cloud. Anyways. Legend of Mana was good on the PlayStation 1. Oh, yeah. But I, I think was, uh, tomorrow is the steam winter sale so oh is it now yeah <laughs> i know playstation just started their holiday sale it's yeah, so it told me about it. It's so weird like, they did their like uh end of the year sale at the beginning of december and now they're doing their holiday sale like what the fuck didn't any year been like after christmas yeah, probably should have. Like right after. <laughs> Have you played Forspoken? No. It came out on PC recently. I like I'd seen the reviews were pretty bad or mixed for it though. King said King played it. He said it was a good game. He said, I don't know what he's like, I don't know what the fuck people were crying about. So far it's good. Um People cry about it. Oh. I mean, yeah. Nowadays, yeah. Yeah. That's why I stopped. I like I, I can't stand reviews or some mm -hmm. shit. I, I there are some things I'll go look at a review for, right? And then I'd look and determine it like like okay, well maybe this may be the game for me, maybe not. And I'll go look, and I'm like, oh man, this game look fun as hell. Like what the fuck are y'all talking about? Y'all tripping for nothing? And then I'll go play it. I'm like, man, I enjoyed the fuck out of this game, but a lot too many of us kind of focus on like other people's opinions. So. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I mean, that, that's the thing. I always looked up reviews on certain, like technology especially. So that's where my reliability has always been. But when it comes to games anymore, it's just like, it's a hit or miss. It's, it's, too, it's too, people are too critical. Yep. A little too critical over games, and most of the time the games are like fun as hell to play, and it's not, it's not as bad as people's. You know, they critique a game like they like they're the ones, uh, like they're developers. Mm-hmm. Oh, this ain't that, you know, this ain't right, and this person's supposed to be like this, and da, 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 da. like y'all, too many people complaining about or nitpicking, really. Yep, uh, we were one. Well, let's see when Final Fantasy VII remake was first announced, people were. Complaining left and right about Tifa or Tifa and how she wasn't as stacked as in the oh, yeah, original. Her, her, yeah, her assets weren't there. They like, right. oh yeah, I nerfed Tifa's assets. And I'm like, bro, come on. If, they, if that's all they did to the game and y'all got everything else y'all wanted, like, shut the fuck up. It's uh, on PC. Get it on PC. You know, damn well somebody gonna mod the fucking game. They're gonna make a nude mod. Actually, I'm sure they did. I'm, I'm, say, I'm sure they did. I'm surprised. I'd be damn sure surprised if they didn't. Right. I mean, but, shit. Some games already, you know, they 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 had shit swinging. Yep. Animated the whole damn thing, and I'm like, bro, who the <laughs> like who the fuck want to see? I'm sword fighting, bro. Not that kind though. <laughs> <laughs> bro, they, they man, they yeah, people my all kinds of shit, boy. It's stupid. I'm like, damn. First fucking digital deluxe is 38 on PS5. And it got four stars on here. Well, 3.87. So, I mean, like, that's a lot. Let's see what the one stars. Oh, you can't see what the one star reviews are. Really? So, I, mean, like, I, I don't get it. Like, I I just picked up Cyberpunk and uh, the DLC for it for like 40 bucks. You know what? It's funny that you uh, mentioned it. You see it? Well, Cyberpunk was kind of a shit show. Yeah, I seen it when it first came out. Yeah, but they I mean, they did a lot to fix it, but you see it shut up most of the crowd after they fixed it. Mm-hmm. But Final Fantasy is a lot different. Like, they don't they they don't stop talking about Final Fantasy. Then they complain about it, right? And it's they, here's the same shit they always say. Not my Final Fantasy. Not my Final Fantasy. I'm like, bro, y'all say the same shit every time a Final Fantasy you, comes up. You ruined my, my childhood. Fantasy. Right. No, like, wait, the game, so the game's supposed to like stay turn based for the rest of his life. Mm-hmm. I get it. You like turn based, and I get it. You, you, you know, you got people that really love their turn base because it helps them, and and that's okay. But I don't think a game needs to stay turn based, not in this age. But I also don't think every game needs to turn into a full on action combat either. Everybody not everything just- needs a remake or a reboot. <laughs> Oh, no, nah, I can't agree with that. There, there's a couple games that need to. <laughs> now, in all honesty, not every game does need a fucking remake or a reboot for real. I no. Dude, okay. Like, there's a few games I want. I'm happy about Star Ocean getting a remake. I really am. Mm-hmm. I would like Star Ocean three to get a remake. Um, and the Blue Spear because Blue Spear was like a Game Boy Advance port that was never localized. Uh, to the West, and again, it was Game Boy Advance, so it was, it was uh, maybe not Game Boy Advance, but it was Game Boy. It was shit, nonetheless. What's it uh, called? So if they remake it and make it better, cool. If they remake three, please, I really want three. But if they re- remake three, I'm good with that because this allows more people to come through. Same with Rogue Galaxy. Um, I think the only game I don't want remade is uh, Skies of Arcadia. I just want that remastered. Just like remaster the shit and then bring it to modern platforms that way everybody can play it. It's really, a, if you're like in an RPG, it's really a masterpiece of an RPG. I mean, but you could just bring I, it to I, all that shit straight to modern consoles or PC easily. Yeah, but, but okay, I, well. I, I just don't understand this whole remake, reboot. No. Well, that's why I say I agree with you. Not everything really needs to, one. Most things damn sure don't need no reboot. Don't be rebooting shit. But uh, a remake, not everything needs a remake. A simple, like you said, freshen up of the graphics. You know, right? But, and call it a day. But speaking of calling it a day, I'm going to throw up the BRB real quick, and we'll be back to. Are you allowed to chat more? 
Yeah, I got time. All right, so let me throw up the BRB and uh, enjoy these ads. Can they just drive in and take whatever they want? Why not? Because Splinter and the Turtles are hovering nearby in their turtle copter. Hey, guys, something's a fool. Shredder's getting away, but with the turtle copter punching skids, he's a pushover. It's foot washing time. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. From Playmates. The turtles are assaulting the Tactodrome. Inside are the Foot Clan's rep and storage chamber, Krang's laboratory, and Shredder's master control room. Huh? Turtles? Oh, they've been spotted. Now they'll have to watch out for the ice spy radar, that hit news pit, the spike back door. Turtle time. Oh no, an ooze scanner, a brain scrambler, and mutant manacles. Can Leonardo rescue them? Sure, home so. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. From Playmates. Don't we know these guys? They're honorary turtles, and each of them is carrying the official Sewer Force sword. Not merely a fashion statement, the Sewer Sword represents the cutting edge of turtle technology, the ultimate in personal defense. Get the point? Uh-oh, what's that up ahead? Could it be foot soldiers, Bebop, or even Shredder himself? Uh, no, it's only Dad. I knew we were being shadowed. Ninja Turtles. From Playmates. Pump it up, dude! The turtles and their friends are on patrol, each armed with Don's sewer squirter. The pump action squirt gun with a 20-foot range. Oh no! Those 20 feet belong to the electronic foot soldiers! What will the turtles do now? Water down their pond! Why the water's squirting out their circuit? Who would have thought those sewer squirters would make foot candles out of Shredder's foot soldiers? Well, water and a little elbow grease will take out anything! From Playmates! It's mine! Would you guys stow it? That should be easy for heroes on the hinge. Tap shell, the storage shell turtles. Well, back up! Well, you're right! The storage shell opens to reveal an assortment of wacky weaponry. There's a specialized arsenal for Michelangelo, Leonardo, Donatello, and Raphael. Pretty handy! Especially when the foot strikes, then the turtles can reach back and really shell it out. Yeah, we got a rear end covered. From Playmates. Wow, we recycling work. It's Chrome Dome, the foot mechanized warrior. We've got him outnumbered, dude. Not so fast, turtle scum. No, it's that trashed out wiggler, the worm, with his disgusting worm eaten smile. And Dirtbag, the mutated miner prospecting for trouble with his jackhammer. And now, if that weren't enough, here comes Ground Chuck, the foot mutated bull is a walking arsenal. But nothing frightens the turtles. That's a lot of bull. From Playmates. We have ways of making you talk! Oh, Shredder's right! Because with the talking turtles, all you have to do is just pull the sound strip and... <laughs> hey, dude, that's my line! Well, how about... <laughs> Sounds good to me! Each of the talking turtles come with two of their own talking clip strips! Plus, you can get more strips separately, so when Shredder talks tough, the turtles always get the last word! <laughs> now we're talking! <laughs> From Playmates! It would be strange if you saw people on the street with their heads stuck down. Hello? Hello? It wouldn't make any sense at all. It's your peace. But it would make sense to see a turtle like that, like Hedrop and Don, Hedrop and Raph, Hedrop and Leo, or Hedrop and Mike, but not Mrs. Finkelmeyer. No, Crocs! Hedrop and Turtle just squeeze their legs and their heads pop up. Playmates. Three, two, one. Hey there, sports dudes. In baseball tonight, Grand Slam and Raph slammed a hit. Unfortunately, the ball didn't go anywhere because it was attached to a pole. In football, TD Toss and Leo's making sure the foot aren't having a ball. In basketball, Slam Dunk and Don's becoming a real basket case. And in wrestling, we find Shell Slam and Mike pinned by his python. More sewer sports all-stars coming up, but now a word from our sponsor. It's Turtle's zaniest video bloopers. First, here's Leonardo in his wind-up jolly turtle tub boat. With paddle wheel and pirate cannon, he's making quite a splash. Next, check out Rocksteady in his pogocopter with pilot's cockpit and power propeller. No wonder they call him Choppers. Finally, there's Raph in his sewer speedboat. Looks like he's converting to hyperhydrofoil. What's the rush? I thought there was something fishy. Welcome back to the International Turtle Games.
Today's winners are in the hammer throw, track and field, Leo. Next, it's Hot Dog and Mike tearing up the slopes. At the pool, Super Swimming Roth is making everybody else look all wet. And Powerlifting Don is making those weights fly. Look out! Hope the turtle games were as much fun for you as they were for me. Ah, for a good night's sleep. Who goes out of control, dangers and mutates into Bebop! Oh, my, my! Look, they decided to play together. <laughs> and, of course, they all live happily ever after. Now they mutate. From Playmates. Once upon a time in the sewer, Raphael was calmly flying his space vehicle. When suddenly a giant wave came from nowhere, but his space vehicle changed and mutated and... Raph was safe on a raft. And Michelangelo came along on his ATV. Oh no, it's that wave again! But his ATV mutates into a... Sexy! And they live happily ever after. Do you hear a waterfall? Ah! Now they mutate. From Playmates. It was a dark night in the sewer. The shredder was finally cornered. Its only escape to mutate into a road-ready mutant module. So are they gonna catch him? Look! Leo is mutating into a fire engine! And Don is mutating into a stop car! Cowabunga Splitter is mutating into the party wagon! Better hit the road, Shredder, because the road-ready turtles are on your tail! Now they mutate! Hey, Michelangelo! What's happening with the turtles? Well, us Toon Turtles, you know, from the Turtle Cartoon Show, spent the day finding Shredder in the foot using the Turtle Toon Cycle! After that, we started acting crazy. Bandana spinning, eyes bulging, tongue sticking out, head spinning. So, we decided to relax and have a picnic with all our friends. Wow, sounds like fun. Yeah, dude, we had ice cream and jelly pizza. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Doom Turtles. On today's show, we have something really exciting. It's questions and answers with the movie star turtles. Hi, 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 so, has being in the movies changed you guys? Well, we changed our expressions. We're bendable, and our legs have gotten longer. So Hollywood has changed you. Nah, we still like to kick foot. So what's next for you guys? More movies? How about lunch? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Well, that's it from Hollywood. It's a turtle beach party in the sand. We're gonna surf the zoo, we're gonna get a green tan. But just when they thought it was safe to play, the big bad foot come walking their way. Lifeguard Leo, Spike and Bolly Don, Sewer Cycle and Rap, Beach Cone and Mike, Sewer Spitting Turtle. We got them on the run, spitting so much fun. Sewer Spitting Ninja Turtle from Playmates. Yeehaw, dudes! I just love the Old West when things are wild and woolly and turtles are really turtles. Crazy Cowboy Don is as rough and tough as they come. Sewer Scout Raph is scouting things out. Bandito Bustin' Mike always bashes the bad guys. And cheap. Alright, we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, reboots and stuff, bad. I don't... I don't... <laughs> Yeah, Re reboots. I think reboots are worse than remakes, though. Cause they be trying to uh, re a reboot a series, and it just does. okay. Example: Devil May Cry series. It did not need a reboot with DMC. That did not. That shit was ass. I didn't even bother play. I saw like the back cover of. I was like, oh hell no, I'm not touching this shit. I got it for free and said, hell no. <laughs> I played it. It, it. 
as a game, it's it's not a bad game as a game. As a devil may cry, it's trash. It's trash. So, and I was like, damn, why they rebooted? They didn't need like after they came out with four, they could have continued the story. They didn't beat the ultimate like fucking devil or nothing like that yet. Right? So they could continue the story and then become like the new kings of hell, but uh, like also travel between the worlds. Uh between the human world and the in the in the in the uh demon world, like they don't have to necessarily stay in there. Like, a, have you played Devil May Cry Five? Not yet. I really need to. Okay. I re- <laughs> Do you know what happens in the end? There? No, not yet. I okay, I, won't, I won't spoil it. <laughs> right. Um, but well, they didn't need to reboot it. They did well, just like they went off of four. You know, it was it was <laughs> good. And, Four, I I could not get into four either. Like, I can understand why though too. I really can. It's not three was a shit. <laughs> like, it's not the no two was shit. I said does shit, not shit. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> like uh, three, three was good as hell. Oh uh, yeah, three, three was the shit. Yeah, three, mm. three was my shit, boy. You had. Different stance styles, you had mm-hmm. different styles, different a whole bunch of weapons that you get to choose from. You had a fucking divine, the electric guitar. You got the wind and fire blades. You yeah. got the, you know the the rebellion. Oh man, that, yeah, that shit was man. Three is the shit. Two, you know, two was just two's trash. Nope, nothing else but trash. That shit's garbage. That, but honestly, that shit they they outsourced it. That's what happened. Yeah, you could it, tell. It, yeah, it got stuck into like development. I think by the time the team actually came on to finish Devil May Cry Two, um, it, all they had was Stinger working. All they had was Stinger working, and that was it. Like, they had nothing else. Uh, what, what what was that shit? Um, Batman Origins, just exactly like that. Like well, Ar- Ar- you had Arkham Knight or not Arkham Knight, you had Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, two great ones, and then you had Arkham Origins. It was like, what the fuck is this? And you found out that right. was made from a different team. Like, oh god damn it! Yeah, that that would make cry too. Was just it wasn't mm-hmm. it wasn't a, a, the team. It was not the team because you see what the team did after that, right? The team, you see what they did. It, it was like hell no, we gotta come back from two. It came out with three. And three, boy, I had so much fun. I had like three copies of three. I had the original three, and then you had you get the special edition. Um, and I think there was like one more. Um, but I could be wrong on that. But I know I ended up uh, loving the special edition more because after you beat it, you get to play as Virgil. And not only that, you got to play as his Neo Angelo form, which is the form he uh gets turned to after one or was it was it after one no it's after or i guess timeline wise it's after uh he gets turned into neo angelo in three but uh as far as how the games come out he was already neo angelo in one so uh you got you got to play as that form and it was actually kind of sick he fucking hits (laughs) as neo angelo he fucking hits, uh, but don't you know his 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 normal devil trigger ain't no slouch either. You can, <laughs> you can mess shit up, shit, you tear shit up with his his uh his normal devil trigger form. But um, yeah, I I like the fact that I can play as Virgil, um, even though Dante is my favorite character because just he's more right. see Virgil's more refined character. He's more refined character. Like I'm gonna use certain weapons, and that's that's Virgil. He only got he got Beowulf. He got um oh what's his sword called? I forgot his sword name. Um shit. <laughs> no, I that... forgot it. I forgot the name of his sword, but you got the sword. You got his sword. Oh, that's gonna piss me off. Hold on. Virgil's sword. If I could spell it, it would help. What is is this the yeah the Yamato shit? I couldn't think of that. <laughs> uh, but you got the Yamato, you got Beowulf, 
and you got like the uh um it's kind of like a a ghost form if you will it's a ghost form of um uh oh shit what's this i can't think of his father's sword name but before it turns into his actual form um he he has like a a, a ghost form of that it's oh his sword is called sparta but his unreleased sparta form uh sparta sword um he takes like a ghostly form of that so those are like the three weapons he he has that's it and but dante see dante gets crazy this dude in five he got like a fucking michael jackson hat <laughs> <laughs> bro it is crazy it's it's and it's strong as hell too but it's fu- it's funny as hell Dante's just crazy with his shit, with his weapon. So I, I'm always like free will Dante type character. Virgil's like strict, but he's strong, but he's strict about his his attacks. You can tell it in his attacks, the way he moves, the way he presents himself. So, uh, but yeah, they uh, they did three right. They gave Virgil his thing. Uh, then they put him. They put Virgil in uh, uh, Marvel versus Capcom three, and he he was top. He was top tier. He was top tier character, and he was out there slaughtering shit. And well, that's where we got the quote from. Now I'm motivated. That's that's my shit, man. I love to hear that quote. And then they came back in 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 five, man. <laughs> Just to hear that quote again. And all the like the fucking videos that pop up if you look up Devil May Cry Five, don't do it. By the way, if you plan on playing the game, because uh, it kind of some of it kind of got spoilers. Uh, but man, Virgil, they they did Virgil justice in Five. They did him some fucking justice. Five and 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 three are the best. Four is like okay. Two was ass, and one is the OG of OG. Um, I think. I think if they did one as a remaster, not a reboot or a uh, remake, but just as a remaster and add like a few things here. Uh, I know they do have kind of have a remaster, but the trilogy, they kind of got that going on, right? Yeah. But if they just do a full on, um, just a full on remaster uh of one in itself and change like a few mechanics add some stuff that couldn't be added at first due to limitations uh i think that'll be okay but yeah just reboots don't reboots in my opinion because that was the whole point of the conversation reboots in my opinion <laughs> do not go too well um in, in the case of devil may cry uh or dmc as they call it it, it just didn't like i think they even retconned like the whole story Apparently, his mama died in a fucking fire. And I don't think that's the way she died in 3. In 3, I think she was killed by demons. And I guess technically the demons started the fire and killed her still, but I don't think that's how she was killed in the in, in 3, originally. It's just, uh, that's, that's this, technically, that's the start of the entire series, timeline-wise. It's 3. It's 3. Uh, it's 3. It's 1. And then two, two is when he goes to hell. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He he goes he goes into hell and he actually stays there for a while. I think the developer said four is when he actually came back from hell. And then five is way after that. Or I think five may be first and then four. I don't know, but nonetheless, <laughs> yeah, I agree. Reboots ass. Remakes can be good if they like change up some mechanics or at least make it available to modern <laughs> platform. Remakes, not everything, not every game needs a remake, even though I want some games I mean, to be remade. The whole Chrono Trigger argument, that's stupid. Like, you know, as soon as they do it, it's going to be you out. don't like but, Chrono Trigger, though. Well, it doesn't matter. If I okay. like it or not, it doesn't matter. You know, damn well, as soon as they do like a remake of it, there's gonna be backlash, even oh, though people want it. Some, some, something's not gonna go right that people like, and it's gonna go horribly wrong. Why touch it? Oh, y'all changed this in the story. Oh, this ain't right. This is not how that scene went. Oh, the music is off key. 
at this part and it, no you added this but took away that or did this and did that and jesus fucking christ this is what you people yeah. wanted a remake you know, a remake is not a remaster. Keep that in mind. Right. A remake is taking what was there and adding all that other shit that they wanted to. Or what other right. people thought should have been there. Yeah, it's a reimagination of the game. And I, in the core. Dragoon Knight. You know who he is, right? Yeah. Streamer. Yeah. And that was the point that I made on Twitter when they showed that scene with Aerith. But the feathers there. I'm like, they're gonna throw a swerve. They probably will throw a swerve. Man, they about to they about to swerve the shit out of that. You know they about to swerve the shit out of that. I can see they about to swerve the shit out of that. And it would it surprise me if it was Tifa. Not one now, bit. I don't think it's gonna be Tifa. I just think uh I think what's gonna happen is those the the whispers are gonna change fate somehow or you're going to be able to use the whispers in some way, form, or fashion to change mm -hmm. air. Hey, I think that's what's going to happen. And, and, you know, we never know because we don't know what was going through their minds in the original development. Maybe that's all they could do because of time crunch. We know there was a lot of that shit going on uh, back in those days. And maybe they wanted to originally bring Aerith back. I don't know. But, I mean, but, with Aerith dying in the original, that helped finish the story. Yeah, it does because they get more mo after she dies, they kind of get more motivated to really like, hey, we gotta stop this dude because he's trying to summon meteor, like he's trying to fuck us up. Mm -hmm. So we gotta we gotta do some shit. And they haven't really mentioned Aerith being an ancient yet either. No, doesn't she get mentioned in the third part? It's usually, it happens right after Midgar. But she also mentions it during Midgar. Her mother brings it up. That's no right. okay. Mm -hmm. That's why they okay. were trying to kidnap her. That's why General was trying to get a hold of her. Right. So they so. do that, right? And then they mm -hmm. do, um, so the, yeah, basically part two is when, because there's, because you just, Part one is right when you get to Midgar, right? When you get to the bridge, right? Right when you're leaving, yeah. Okay, so right when you're supposed to leave in the original, you get uh that's where the remake ends. Right. And then so rebirth. See, and I think it's in the name too, like rebirth. I don't think it's just rebirth of the game, a revival of the game. I think it's rebirth. A whole uh, new story. Yeah, a whole new fucking story. I guess the whispers in the original played a, a significant part. Well, I guess they probably played more of a background part. And like I said, that's probably due to limitations on time. Right. Yo, Fiends, how's whispers. it going? What up, Geek? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think, I think they had, if they had time, they may have done more with the whispers in the OG, but they didn't. And this is just kind of the story we got. Well, the whisper, well, I think the whispers, what it the whispers are doing in this is trying to keep it on track somewhat because if you remember the first time like well the first time you see him is when the first time you see Aerith and she's like batting them away but you can't see him until she grabs Cloud but the next time you see them is in uh, Sector 7 when Cloud was not a part supposed to be part of the Sector 5 bombing they brought the whispers in, causing injury to Jesse, making Cloud the only other option. Go. Try to keep the story on track. Right. So, so. And then, of course, everybody knows what happens in the Shinra building with Barrett. And the whispers did that. So it's like the whispers are trying to keep the story true to the original. But also change. There is a change that happens. So that's why I think the swerve at will be it will probably be Tifa instead of Aerith at the end of Rebirth. Now, are they gonna 
end after that or will the story continue or how that how are they gonna do it because this is a two disc game i mean that's pretty fucking big for a new console yeah i think they're probably gonna end it sometime a little after that they're like, probably gonna, like you know whoever whoever gets stabbed is gonna get stabbed you fight genova Right, you fight Genova, and I think after the whoever gets, if they do the same scene where they lay them into the water, I think that's where after that at the end, maybe right after you exit, right after mm -hmm. you exit, I think is about where we end. But my thing is, but why, why would they kill off Tifa though? What is what is with that? I know I've heard a lot of people say like they're gonna kill off Tifa, or they feel like Tifa should get killed off instead of Aerith. And so, Be but why do people believe Tifa will die? It makes the story more dramatic for Cloud than Aerith. Bro got the mental capacity for of a baby though. He can't handle shit. And there goes the camera. <laughs> Damn, right on the close up. But right. yeah, he can't ha he can't handle shit. That's the reason he didn't get into Soldier right. in the first place. Right. And that when Aerith died in the original, it made it seem like Cloud was like completely in love with her, but it also didn't really fully explain the whole Cloud um Zach connection. Now that you know the connection, it's like, okay, Tifa would be the more ultimate sacrifice for Cloud to have him motivated to go against Sephiroth once more. It wouldn't be like Zack controlling Cloud at that point. Right. But maybe what if they, I guess, if like to continue the story, what if, I guess, how would they do this though? If she summons, it has to be Aerith that summons Holy. Yep. So that means Aerith has to be there. So unless Tifa does something such as push her out the way, there's no way she's going to die. Right. She would have to, Tifa would have to push her out the way. Yep. That's the only way that, that, that would explain that Tifa pushes her out the way and saves Aerith from, yep. from, from uh, getting killed. Right. But would Holy still be summoned? Holy can be summoned just off of the off of the materia. But it was it, it was right because she, yeah. yeah it was off the materia. But it was Aerith's death that caused help bring it rectified because we were out. She said it does nothing. But at the end of seven, you seen right up in the cloud there was Aerith and showing that it worked. Yeah, but uh, does she need to die? That's the question. Yeah, that that is the work. biggest question. Does if she that's need the to? Case, then Tifa can't die, or Holy won't work. Then you got to find a whole nother way to to get summon Holy because Holy's the only thing that could defeat the meteor. Mm-hmm. Unless they do a whole big swerve and you have to go up on a spaceship to <laughs> battle the meteor. That'd be that'd yeah. Be I think I can see them getting away with that in the, in the OG, but not in not in modern consoles. Like in the OG, Ar that'd just be like a goofy fight, right? Armor get there and you fight the meteor. Armor getting it. Yep. Yeah. Bye bye, curious now. She might just really die still. Mm-hmm. And maybe then there might be just a way to bring her back. Because she, now her spirit helped drive the life force. That's all it, I think that's what it mainly was, right? The life force. The life stream. Life stream. The life stream was life. always there. And it was actually was able to flow free, free because the damage done in Medeal. Right. But, so. The, okay, so, okay, so the life, uh, I got that, right? So the life stream flows freely, like you said, right? It's always there. That's, and that's part of the reason why Sephiroth's body is actually a northern crater. Because yep. if he's, a, it, it's, he's uh, trying to get the flow of the life stream into him um, to, to, and then get the black material to summon, you know, Me meteor. But my thing is the, I, I guess it was more implied because, like you said, they didn't really tell the entire story. Right. So my thing is implied that she maybe didn't have to die to summon Holy, but 
because she died, Holy was able to activate either faster or just be stronger because her spirit got it the live stream towards Meteor. Mm-hmm. I and maybe I, I may I don't think about this wrong, but again, like you said, at the end of the OG, when when uh Holy is fully activated and, and destroys Meteor, you see air spirit. Just like at the opening scene of seven. Exactly. Right. Just like the opening scene, exactly like the opening scene. You, the opening scene has her looking up, you know, mm-hmm. go from like a praying stance to looking up, and then that's it. So it, it, it it's it's kind of I don't know. Gotta have to see how this is gonna go because because there's so many possibilities. I just don't see Tifa dying. I get I get it. It can make it more dramatic for Cloud. I get that it could have more meaning, but if Cloud and Zach are kind of, I know they're not the same people, but Cloud took on Zach's will. I can see how that would work for him and Aerith. There's an innate connection to Aerith without him knowing, because of uh, Zach. Oh, you took on Zach's will, so, uh, <clears throat> you took on Zach's will, so. Uh, now you have similar feelings for Aerith <laughs> uh, because of that. Mm-hmm. The only reason I, why, I mean, when you, okay, how long ago did you play Seven? Oh, man, it's been oh, years. I've just been watching like a, a specific speedrunner play it. Okay, now, do you remember seeing the scene in, um, In Nibelheim, in the basement of Center of Mansion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sephiroth was down there, and he read, like, what happened. No, 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 no. And this is well after it. Oh, no. There's, uh, I don't remember that. Yeah, if you go back to Shinra, like, the Shinra Mansion, in the basement, you'll see Cloud and uh, Zack, both in the Mako tubes. There. Uh-huh. That explains, like, the Cloud-Zack connection. <laughs> Okay, so that makes sense then. Yep. So you'll have to like actually play through just to get to that scene again. I've been doing good. Fiends just been working a lot recently. So, I've been it, good, man. Staying alive. <laughs> uh, 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 staying alive. Staying alive. Staying alive. All right, enough where you get copyrighted. <laughs> That's all I need. Copyrighted on my bad singing. Right. I'm gonna have to see. I'm gonna have to see that scene. But yeah, I guess that would explain. Uh, uh, yeah, that would explain their connection. <laughs> so that could explain why era. Yeah, that could explain the whole era scene. Actually, that could explain a lot. And then maybe that could explain why Zach is still alive too. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Adobe Express Desktop just came out with a on the super. Uh, this is the that part. Because yeah, yeah, you got to go after Cog falls through the Medeal shit. <clears throat> Behind incident, flashbacks, through events. Okay. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to quickly look this up for you. <laughs> Ah, here we go. Okay. Uh, OBS. Let's go to this chatting. Google. So let's go here and I'll play it for you. All right. Okay. 
I watched him too. He's not Aaron shit. Hands empty than a motherfucker. <laughs> he knocked this shit out. Oh, okay. I, I remember that scene now. Yeah, this is why you had to play Reunion before going into Rebirth. Let's see, Cloud here got Mako poison. Yep. There's the squats. <laughs> so that, yeah, because this kind of leads into um, Crisis Core, right? This is after, this would be after Crisis Core. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. After, yeah, yeah, that's right, because a little after, what's his name? He's supposed to die. Mm hmm. Technically, and then they retcon that and says he lives now. So this explains what happens after, like, the whole sh Sephiroth went insane, cut Tifa in half, then Cloud supposedly, like, had the sword stabbed right through him. Right, yeah, he's, he's, Cloud ran up, and somebody made a good point about that, too, it was like a theory, and they said, well, if you look at uh, the back of Cloud's blade, he had the, uh, uh, back attack. Materia. Mm -hmm. I think it was back attack materia. That's how he was able to run up on Sephiroth and stab him in the back, especially someone like him. Yep. Stabbed him, stabbed him in the back and tossed his ass over. Because that's when Sephiroth actually died. And there goes Sock. Shot the shit out of him. Yep. Bro, that's gruesome. He ran up there and just kept shooting his ass. I guess he, he was I soldier guess. first class and he got ran up on and shot like that. Made no sense. Right. But he is, and he's a super soldier. So, like, come on now. How the fuck would he die to bullets like that? I don't get that. And that's when he took over the memories. Mm hmm. 
I think I think I think the Mako had something to do with that. It really did. The connection between the two. And that's why when you um, That's why when you have the Mako poisoning again, you have to separate the memories. Yeah, Tifa helped them separate what was real and what was fake. Mm-hmm. So what was his memories and what was Zach's memories. Something. There's like also Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's like several other ones that you can see, I guess, but that's the main one. Fine. But yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm curious to like how they're gonna play this off. I'm I'm really wondering how truly how this is gonna work. So I guess we'll have to see in, in February. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Because I know everybody's going to be talking about it. Everybody is going to be talking about it. I'm going to be, like, I'm going to have to pre-order it. Get it day one. I'm going to just wait. I'm going to avoid as many spoilers as I can and just wait. Oh, Shit. I'm, I'm definitely staying off Twitch and Twitter. <laughs> yeah. But because I had to avoid shit, I had to avoid like spoilers for Star Ocean too. Like I know the damn game, but I had to avoid like what they changed and stuff. Yep. I was like, damn, bro, y'all spoil. I want to find out like what's new about the damn game. I've been having fun looking at that shit. Shut the fuck up. And it's it's it sucks, but I get people want to talk about it. There's people that are excited about it, want to talk about it. Like, hey, I just went and this and that. Come yeah, on, I, like, I, not everybody I, can sit I, there, like, for three days straight playing this shit. Right, like, be aware that people do read this. Like, put spoilers tag, and then, like, push that shit all the way down. That way I know, or, you know, like, Star Wars 2 spoilers, Final Fantasy 7 spoilers. Like, put, that way I know just to flat out fucking avoid it. I don't mm -hmm. want to see shit about shit. Like I said, I know Star Wars 2. I know, I really know that game. I don't know what they've changed, and I want to see it for myself. And I know how much fun it is because I had fun when I was streaming it. Like the fishing is fun. That shit, it's a new mechanic that I didn't think would be fun, and it's fun. The way they change combat, you don't have to use the move fucking 500 damn times <laughs> before it levels up. That was welcome change. I was like, fuck that. Once I saw they took that from Star, because I had played Star Ocean Six right before uh, Two came out. Yeah, and Star Ocean Six is like that. You get battle points and skill points, and you use your battle points. Star Ocean, uh, what you call it, is like that too. I think Star Ocean Three is like that as well, and so is Star Ocean Four. So all of them kind of like that, but the way it looks is from Six. Uh, anyway, the way it works, I like the way you level up versus in Star Ocean Two. You had to use the move 200 times before it leveled up. And then you got to use it like 300 more times before it leveled up to its final form. And this one is just, okay, well, you know, we leveled up um, using battle points and you got the move. Because I was getting my ass beat. I'm playing, you know, I'm playing on universe mode. And I'm hella over, oh, uh, not over level, under level. <laughs> I'm hella under level. But the way I managed to make it work is... Um, by leveling up my skills. Level up the skills is the key. And it's crazy. Uh, solid. That game got a new game plus. The first Star Wars should have a new game plus. Oh, nice. Yeah. So when you beat the game, you actually get to keep your levels and some other shit. So your levels, your moveset, I said, see, that gives me an advantage to play over and over and over. And I'll probably do some like fun shit with it, too. But anyway, yeah, I do got to get going though. Also, yeah, I was about to say the same thing. It's about that time for me to take my ass to bed. Uh, <laughs> you got you got the kid in the morning. I mean, yeah. you, you guys got we got Christmas in five days. Yeah, you know what? We got done shopping and with uh, my my severance. Uh, I managed to get her a iPad, like a 2020 model. Oh, nice. It's the same price as this, this little cheap ass one they was trying to sell on Amazon, and I was like, it was it was really like a little bit more, but I was like, man, I'm not getting my daughter this bullshit <laughs> just so it can tear. Like it's a waste of money, right? I'm not buying cheap shit just to waste money. I don't have the means anymore, so I wanted to get something that was uh, better. So I was like, man, fuck it, let me get her, you know, 2020 iPad. And this is exactly what I bought her. 
So she got a, a 10.2 inch 2020 iPad, and she'll be damn sure happy with it. Her mama bought her a case. So I, I believe she will love that. Uh, her grandma bought her a new bed. She's been wanting a new bed. Uh, she don't want a bunk bed anymore. So she's been wanting a new bed. Her grandma bought her a new bed, and uh, she'll, she'll be happy. She will be uh, extremely happy. So uh, I got a grill for Christmas. I oh, got nice. You know that. <laughs> yeah, I got a grill, and I bought myself uh it was a similar grill that i had actually and it was like uh it just rusted out because it was left open and the elements so the water got in there pulled and rusted it out uh and it didn't have a cover i know to get a cover now that about <laughs> yeah that. you gotta you gotta get it covered yeah i learned that i saw that i was like damn that bitch rusted i said all right i need a cover and make sure shit's straight uh but anyway um yeah, I got another grill, same same model, but this time I found the uh, the uh, offset smoker box that you can actually get and put on there because you can take off the uh, the vents of the of the grill itself, um, and then you can put an offset smoker uh, attachment to it, and then just smoke your meats that way. So I said I'm gonna try that because I've been watching a lot of fucking barbecue uh, <laughs> shorts and shit lately. You know, I got a pack of I got a, a a pack of ribs in the freezer, and some black cherry chipotle rub, and I'm like, damn, bro, I could get this and put some cherry wood in here, and smoke them with some cherry wood. Put that, you know, got that black cherry chipotle rub on there. I said, man, I'll probably be eating good. Shit, I need to get. I mean, I got my. Uh, I got to make sure nobody in here that can listen. to you. All right, but yeah, I got my niece's uh, big ass, little like two foot big, fucking stuffed Pokemon dolls. Oh shit! One uh, let's see, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, and then like th like each like random Squishmallow. But I couldn't find any boxes like you know normal boxes laying around because at Walmart they crush your boxes instantly. So I had to buy like three big ass boxes. <laughs> they're like all up in the living room. Got them wrapped this morning. So they're gonna be coming in and like see these big ass boxes in there. Like, yeah, well, ain't gonna be ain't gonna be like big ass toys for you, but hey, it's it's better than nothing, right? It's better than fucking nothing. Well, I know that. The one, the oldest is like thirteen, about to turn fourteen, so. She's like into like getting in like electronics and stuff. The middle child, she's ten and she's big into like video games also. And it's like, you know, I can't I ain't gonna be spending like seventy, eighty dollars on y'all like that. Meanwhile the eight year old still likes fifty cent stuff from Dollar Tree or some shit, you know. <laughs> so I get them all the same damn thing pretty much. Hey. As long as they appreciate it, that's all that fucking matter. Right. So, you know, it's hey, that's good. I like I said, I managed to get um my daughter with the last little bit I had, and I'm I'm proud of myself for what I was able to do. I ain't even mad because I I, th I know she's gonna like what she got, you know. Mm -hmm. I just I know she is, so uh and it, I'm on the prowl for another job right now, and once I get that, you know. Back in fucking business. I ain't gonna trip. That's why I ain't tripping right now. I ain't, I ain't stressed. Plus, I got something else to show you. I'll show you that. Uh, I'll take a screenshot and show you in Discord. But yeah, after, after yeah. obviously, if that comes through beforehand. And shit. Yeah, hell yeah, that's damn so obvious. I ain't about to say that shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> don't don't be don't be doxing yourself here. Hell no. Nah. I don't want to shit. You. I think you. You're the only person in the streaming community that has my address. That is true. Like, what, yeah, it's just, it's just, yeah, I think it's just you. What about, like, I what, what does, will have it too eventually, but I was gonna say, doesn't I thought Bud did, but no, we we were actually planning a meetup and um, COVID happened, 
and we're yeah. both asthmatic, so we couldn't risk that. Right, right. Uh, uh, so yeah, um, now yeah, you. I think you're the only person that has my address because I. I thought. Well, what about Lee? I thought Lee did. No, the only I shipped it from Amazon, so Lee doesn't have my address. Okay. Yeah, I shipped that directly from Amazon. I, well, there's a there was one other streamer, but I know they don't have it by now. Um, because I uh, back when I was living in my apartment, I had a computer. It was like a i7 4790 k, okay. and then it was like a uh and it was an AMD GPU pair with it before I really understood the difference in power and components. But it was like a R390 is what I had with it. I had an R390 and I turned around and um, I just gave it to him for free because it was like, man, our computer went out. It's going out. We ain't got the money. We trying to do this. I felt bad. I was like, fuck it. I, I just shipped this shit for, to you for free. And she's like, are you serious? I was like, yeah, I'm building, I'm building a new computer. You know, so I was like, fuck it. You can have this shit. And I think at the time... I was actually built. That's when I was working on my uh, uh, damn that i nine processor. That's when I was working on that uh, i nine processor seventy nine fifty X. All right. That's 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 when I was working on that build, and I just moved back in with my mama. Um, so I knew I didn't have any, everything set up yet. So I was like, man, it's, it's just whatever right now. Um, it is what it is. So I so I packed that shit up, sold it to her, or just shipped it to her. I didn't sell it. It turns out though, they uh <laughs> the GPU went dead. <laughs> oh. They plugged it in, tried to get it to work, and the GPU died on in transit. I was like, "Fuck!" Oh damn! <laughs> well, Man. you try you tried to do something nice. So I well the thing is though, I still been. I said, "All right, I hit up." I said, "Let me hit up MSI because that's where I got it from." I said, "I didn't have it for a few years, but let me hit them up." So it was like, "Hey, look, I got this GPU." Blah 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 blah. I said, all right, send it in for repair. It's, uh, I think it was like real close to being out of warranty, maybe like a day or two. So I sent that shit. I said, hey, send it to me now. Uh, that way I can ship it off. Uh, I got all the forms and shit filled out. That way it would still be in warranty by the time I sent it. Turns out they didn't even make the car no more. <laughs> so they couldn't even get me a repair. So what they did at the time, they actually ended up upgrading to the uh, the uh uh, ten. Uh, they gave them a a ten seventy Ti. Damn that. Okay, that was a few years that's back. back when the, yeah. That's yeah. Well, that's back when the ten eighty Ti was still popular. Yeah, that was still the top choice for cards when that when that when, when they gave it that ten seventy. I was like, damn, y'all gave me a ten seventy Ti for that card. I said, hey, I sent the picture of this shit. I was like, hey, look, look, y'all up, y'all up. It's like, yeah, we up. I said, look. They sent back a fucking 1070 Ti. And they was like, are you fucking serious? I said, yeah, they sent this shit back to me. I said, I'm about to send this shit now. I turned around and sent that shit overnight. I said, hey, y'all getting this shit right now. They plugged that bitch in. It was good. So, but I don't think that, I mean, it's it's been so long now. They ain't got my address no more. Uh... Yeah. I don't even think I go to their streams no more. I actually don't. I still follow one of them, but I don't go to their streams no more. I don't think Retro Achievements is down right now. I mean, I know it was slow it was earlier. It was a while ago, but it came back up. Yeah, it, it, it's just slow loading right now. Well, see, I know I saw a post on Discord. I got the notification. Which I need to mute Discord, because that should be annoying when I'm <laughs> Right. That motherfucker will bloop, bloop, And it's loud as fuck, too. I'm like, bitch. I I I just pretty much gave it up on RA myself. I said limited time anymore, so and hello infamous, we see you there. <laughs> but all right, solid. Pan tro pan trophies? What's a pan trophy? Yes, I'm Yeah it is. All right, Dark, as always it was good chatting with you. Yeah, glad to and talk to you again. Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Yeah, because it's about to get busy. I'm about to disappear low key. <laughs> he really is. So, all right. See y'all. Talk to y'all next time. And, well, that's going to do it today. I mean, 
three hours. Got Bud in after after a while. I mean, he disappeared for a while. We had Coach. We had Throg. We had Gal. Nice podcast night. But I should be back hopefully tomorrow with the... Um, I don't know exactly what time, but... Yeah, you always is rolling in at the end. I should be back tomorrow at some point with Spider-Man 2 again, because I really want to play some of that. I had fun with it earlier. I'm still in the flashback scene at the high school, so... But until then... I guess you guys have a solid, well, night.